and welcome to the Just For Gamers video game podcast. Episode 135, the Triwizard Cup. You're a wizard. This week's episode is very compact. Nice and condensed there. JFG Ash is back and busy on the chat. Triple chat. JFG Alex has a shit computer. What's <laughs> that you do? I'm sorry, buddy. There's a street beat extravaganza. Best one ever. And finally, Ash makes up a new word. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the JFG podcast. This is episode 135. My name is Alex and I'm joined as ever by my very good friend Ash. Welcome back, buddy. Uh, How are you doing? As always, buddy. Feeling good on a Wednesday, yo yo. Mm. Sparkling thoughts. Give me the hope to go on. Ah, oh, what a couple of weeks I've had. I'm not even I'm not gonna stop now. I'm just gonna talk. Uh so I've been on the Hollish Lay. It's done. Finished. Finito. Ended. It's all over. Yeah, mate. Forget it. Had that week off. It was lovely. Unfortunately, uh, I couldn't be on the podcast last week, um, mainly due to being on holiday, uh, but also uh, where I was staying, a place called Bruin. Uh, it's in the Cotswolds. It's a lovely little place. Uh, it, was a, it was a cottage I was in, three bed. It was fucking awesome, mate. It was so good. Like, proper, yeah, you, like. You were chatting team. about a games room and shit, buddy, and yeah. I was most Had a jealous separate games of that. room. Had an yeah. uh, indoor swimming pool. I was like, fuck yeah, this is amazing. What I didn't have, buddy, is uh, decent internet. It was woeful. Uh... And, uh, oh my god, I cannot live without the internet or decent <laughs> internet. I thought, oh, even if I haven't, like, it hasn't got internet there, at least I've got my phone. No, I was in a fucking field in the middle of nowhere. There was no signal. I was fucked. It was not good. I like was... in some sort of some sort of matrix metaphor there, buddy, I'm uh, sure. Yeah, probably. I am the one and only. Uh, <laughs> it's not quite what I was going okay. for, but yeah, oh, okay. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You're the one. And only. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, that's, yeah, it was I, I I made do without you. Yeah, but, I uh, I listened to it. It's a fantastic pod. Congratulations on your second solo outing. I mean <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I feel like if I tried to do a solo podcast, it would be just me guffing on about shit that no one cares about for a long time. I don't know, buddy. I think you're the special source to this mix. Okay, and, uh, yeah, special being the I operative think, word. I think my yeah. my solo pods. You, if you had to give them a, the, the sort of describe them as a color, that color might be beige. You're but I'm not like, sure. So you're saying you're like the news at ten. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I don't know. It's it's to be honest. No matter who you are, it's very very difficult to talk. On your, on your own, own yeah. for any length uh, of time. I mean, I uh, try without... and do that to myself quite a lot. You just feel just, mental. Just you talking, just feel, you know, you know it's fun. Uh, half hour in, you still feel mental. You're yeah, still like, I bet. this yeah. is fucking ridiculous. But, you know, yeah. we put something out. Indeed, that was, we that did, was... indeed. Didn't miss a fucking week, buddy. Congratulations. Damn right. Well played. Damn right. So, yeah, stayed in Bruin, which is near Witchwood, which is the home of the Knob Gobbler, the old Hobgoblin Knob Gobbler, buddy. A uh, bit of Hobgoblin. Uh, did you have some I was, Hobgoblin? Uh, I did. I had a couple of. Uh, couple of uh, uh bottles that's the word bottles that's the one yeah well done ash um every week or every day i was like fucking dropping hints like oh we're really close to the uh the hobgoblin uh brewery maybe we should just uh have a little visit you know just pop that, down you know just... bit, ah shut up ash fuck you and your nice ideas of having fun oh you can't do that you've got to go bike riding for the day I haven't Bikling. ridden a bike for I don't know how long the last time I rode a bike. <laughs> I think, actually, no, I rode a bike and I spoke about it on the podcast, but I only rode it for like 10 minutes and that must have been about two years ago. But prior to that, mate, no idea. You know, the, the main reason why I haven't ridden a bike for so long is my bike when I was, I don't know, probably like 7, 16, it got stolen, mate, never replaced it. Oh, shit. I know, right? Cunts. Oh man, Teeps. that's like um, turning a game off when you're on a particularly difficult level. You just don't really want to go back after. Wow, that. you know, 
had to go on a bike ride. And not only was I riding a bike for myself, my daughter was on like an extension of the bike. I don't know if you've seen them. There's a normal bike and then you strap half a bike to the back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was like, this doesn't look safe. She's on the back like throwing herself about. I'm like, you better sit still. Otherwise, daddy and you are going flat on that floor. And yeah. Uh, Ground town. Yeah, ground town indeed, buddy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that the bike riding, mate. I mean, I did it. Yay me. I'm pretty jealous. <laughs> I wanted to go bikeling on my little stag week, but the missus is, is not keen. No, and, not keen uh, on the bike. Also, it's winter. Well, But I was too. like, let's do it anyway. Why not? It warms you up. What else are you going to do? Yeah. Exactly. Went swimming, oh. obviously, in the indoor swimming pool. Oh, yeah. I like swimming apart from when it makes you deaf in one ear when the water gets trapped behind some, I'm guessing, build up of wax that I've got in my ear. And uh, yeah, I've had a blocked ear ever since. Oh, still now? Um, actually, I had a sigh of relief earlier. I thought, you know what? I've, I've tried all some kinds of things like the Otec stuff, some water spray, saline, I don't know, squirty thing. Uh, olive oil heated up and everyone's like f- telling me this I'm like I've done it I've, I've tried all these they're things. just punking you at that point exactly cunts I went to the doctors they're like yeah your ears blocked I'm like no shit son <laughs> <laughs> I'm like can you fix it they're like oh well just keep doing what you're doing for another week and then if it's still there you know we'll syringe it out I'm like cool can you not do that now it's like um no I'm like Thanks for nothing. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, you're the best. Good stuff. I mean, yeah. Um, so, yeah, today I went to town with an earbud, and it is surprising how far you can push that in your ear. That's a dangerous game oh, you're playing well, there, friend. I'd, I'd had enough. I was, <laughs> I'd was. i been deaf for a week, and fuck me, if I was deaf forever, I don't know if I could live. You know, I don't know how they do it. Luckily, deaf people can't hear me. It's a podcast, so... Uh, yeah, we're not, this doesn't run in Braille, this particular show. Unfortunately and, uh, not. One day, though, buddy, I, I will do that. Yep. You know. Uh, part, of the, part of the pod. <laughs> yep. So, yeah, um, I, I rooted around there and, like, I, I popped it. it. It felt like there was a bubble in my ear. It was weird. I did nice. not like... Yeah, no, it wasn't. It was not nice. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. So yeah. Well, that's good though, buddy. <laughs> I, I've I've semi got my hearing back in my ear. Um, and it, it feels like I haven't got a finger stuck in it now, which is a bonus. There's still a bit of sloshiness about in there. I feel so. I'm going to keep up with the cleaning. I'll report back on this next week. You know. Please do. I know. We, like I really want you to. I know. Uh, other things that happened. You spoke of this game room. I I visited said game room. It had a pool table, a table tennis table, foosball oh. table. I was like, whoop de do. These games are great, but where's the proper games? I was like, they're not gonna have a PS4. They had a PS4 there, buddy. Oh shit! Just, okay. And the new slim one as well. It looked very nice. I was like, this is tasty. Very premium. But obviously, I I took my PlayStation Pro with me. So I was like, well, Gibbons, oh, buddy, you're an executive. Exactly. Gamer. And they had uh, one of the new uh, 360s in there. I know it's a 360, but still. Uh, but the main event was this fucking 80 plus inch TV. I'd never seen a TV this big before. It was ridiculous. 80? It was fuck. It was like literally the biggest <laughs> thing I've ever seen. It's like, <laughs> think of like a window, like a bay window. Yeah. On a house. Yep. They're pretty big. Yeah. It's like that big. Fair enough. Jesus Christ. So, um, so like real to life sized people on yeah, there. Yeah, totally. Imagine. So um, there, there was FIFA 17 there. So I just like I turned it on. I was like, oh, I wonder what it looks like on this massive TV. And uh, like on the loading screen, it's got like one of the Bayern Munich players just standing there, like top half of him. And he was he was the size of me. And you know, <laughs> I'm an average man in some areas of my body, not in all of them, unfortunately. But yeah. you know. Uh, I've got small toes. Um, yeah, I know. That's yeah. what you meant. Yeah, absolutely. Totally. Yep. And yeah, this <laughs> this guy was just as big as me, like full torso. I was like, this is insane. And then obviously loaded up in the game and I was like, ah, oh, FIFA's well shit, turned it off. Imagine <sighs> playing like Outlast or something on that thing. Seriously, fuck that. I'm good. <laughs> no. <laughs> Terrifying. I was just like, when is a TV too big? And I'm like, probably this size. 
Yeah, it depends on the room, what you're doing with it, mm. that sort of thing. I just guess. imagine watching porn on that. It'd just be like, whoa. Man, yeah. That's a big ass. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Ah, uh, wow. So that's things that I did in an, and around Bruin. We ventured out for one day. One magical day. Wizardly, some would say. Went to fucking Harry Potter Studio World Tour, whatever it's called. Man, I I have two tickets to that and we've got to go within the next six to eight weeks before the, it runs out. So. Well, you better get going, buddy, because that shit is awesome. Man... I'm excited now. We were waiting for them to do it up for Christmas and everything. I think mm. that's like 18th of November or something. They're yeah, going to yeah. do that. Nice. But it was it was good, was it? Did you get to go under the stairs and sit in your little cupboard? I didn't go under there. I saw it, though. I saw it there. I was, <laughs> it was like, saw it there. home from home. I felt a bit sad. Oh, yeah. It was on a Wednesday as well, buddy. So I was like, oh, <laughs> sad. Sad times. I won't be there tonight. I thought maybe I can stone myself away during the evening. No, but no, they wouldn't have it. Uh, yeah, mate, it was fucking awesome. Like, it's all the shit from Harry Potter, and I was just like, wow, this is weird, because it's kind of a franchise that I really enjoy, but not, like, I'm not, like, a massive fan of, like, Harry Potter, but I was just like, this is really cool. I, 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 it was weird, but yeah, very, very cool. Saw loads of stuff. <laughs> Had some butter beer, buddy. How was that? I mean, have some and report back. I will compare notes at the time, yeah. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, see, because I don't want to, you know, put you off it or turn you on to it either or probably the first one. Yeah, it sounds like the first one, (laughs) yeah. But (laughs) But definitely have the butterbeer ice cream. That shit is amazing. That that is well tasty. Tasty treats, buddy. I'm excited now. And the ending is just absolutely magical, mate. Seriously. Awesome. Yeah, it takes like three hours to get around that thing. It's crazy. Nice. Oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be sweet. Indeed it is, buddy. Um, the kids got to do, like, some, qu- uh, yeah, riding on brooms, which was cool. Got a little picture of us in wizard's cloaks, like you do family portrait. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, what else was there? They they learned some wizardly tricks with wands, which was funny. Nice. Like but it was it, just yeah. really just seeing all, like, all the shit there. And like that's all it is. You're walking around just looking at all the Harry Potter shit. I was like, this is cool. Yeah, we're going to enjoy that, especially after our Blu-ray marathon earlier in the year. Gibbons, buddy. Yeah, and that's another thing. We, we were making our way. I think we got four films in as well whilst on holiday because my nice. parents hadn't seen it either. So ah, they, uh, we thought we need to edu- educate them, you know, get them, get them on board. You're damn right. Ah, They're cracking so, films. So, buddy, um, I'm, I'm going to call it there. Because I, I probably could go on, but there's much to talk about. And this is a gaming podcast, because I believe that's the topic this week. The topic this week is video games, buddy. That's absolutely true. Yeah. yeah. But it sounds like you had a cracking holish lay, and I'm, uh, I'm pleased that you did, but I'm also pleased that you're back. Gibbons, buddy. I had a lovely time, apart from, obviously, being deaf. Yeah, apart that from that. shit. You know, these things come and go, though. Gibbons, buddy. So I got, I got one more question, buddy. What, what are you drinking tonight? Uh, I'm on. Well, I've got two buds and a Cronenberg in front of me at the moment, buddy. Nice, like it. So it's the shit lagers once again, but uh, you know they're cheap and uh, in walking distance from my flat, so that's why that happened. There you go. Nice, buddy. Well, I was up in Humber earlier today visiting HMP Humber, another prison, oh, yeah. and uh, well. Uh, there was a Morrison's right next to it, so I thought, oh, i better go and get some beers. No, they, yeah, they got some beer. I've got a Cascade Pale Ale. Um, Ooh. Never had it before. Handcrafted ale, this Sounds one. Sounds jerky, though. It's, yeah, it's pretty decent. I'm enjoying it right now. Uh, it's an American Pale Ale. Uh, i got another one as well. I can't remember. It's a Yorkshire one, a blonde. I love a blonde. Blonde Pale Ale. i got one of them for later as well, so. Oh. I'm fucking ready. That's what I am, mate. Beautiful work, my friend. Ah, Gibbons, B. So, uh, I mean, that that's my week. Uh, what, what what you been doing, buddy, apart from solo podding? Uh, apart from solo podding, I'll be I'll be alarmingly brief because obviously I've had my uh, time off. I'm back to work, and therefore there's very little to report. When you are writing the list of things you did this week, and one of them is that you bought a lot of extension cables. Nice. Fuck then, me. then you know that you you <laughs> probably should keep it brief. That's a memorable week. 
yeah, memorable. So yeah, not very much at all. Uh, had a good weekend though. Um, went out to uh, local fucking burger extraordinaires, Marlowe's, for Ooh. some cheeky burgers. Nice. Uh, they have they have burgers such as the Chicken Kev and uh, a burger called Yeah Lovely. So that's <laughs> not- <laughs> that's good. That, that was nice. good. And giant onion rings. So that was cool. Um, went to see the folks. Actually, went back to. Uh, the horror show that is Medway um, to see my folks because they've just got back from a, a one month holiday. Um, Why the fuck so, not, yeah. mate? Why yeah. not? My mum retired like six months ago. They're like, fuck it. So they went to like California and then on to Hawaii. Um, sounds good to me. Uh, so yeah, we went over there. They did um, burgers, which we weren't to know. <laughs> which was a little unfortunate, <laughs> but they were like, "We do something American because we've been in America." Classic, like, yeah, burgers. Really, really thinking inside the box there. Yeah, um, <laughs> but that was cool. Saw all their holiday snaps. Got a bit pissed up. Stayed over. That sort of thing. Um, and yeah, that's about it, really, buddy. I'm I'm now working from home full time. Wow, they've, full time. They've, they've closed my office. Cool. So it's just pants twenty four seven for you then. Essentially, it's yeah. <laughs> should I should I wash this week? Um, so there's that. And then um, other the only other exciting thing uh, when I was away on my little expedition for Stag Week, uh, we were driving down a country lane to, towards Whitstable, and a fucking pebble the size of my hand nope. just clattered into our windscreen and put literally. Like a, think a large coffee cup, yeah, sized circle, like literally wow. like, a, like okay. a perfect circle, yeah, um, in, into my windscreen. Um, See, I was thinking you were going to go for like action film where it goes like in the windscreen and, and wedges itself halfway in. Yeah, <laughs> no, not quite, <laughs> not quite. And I'd, I'd have some strong words for Ford if that had happened. But, yeah, uh, be like, what, what the fuck? But yeah, scared the. F- Fucking bejesus out of us. Yeah, Jesus. Um, Not cool. So I had that replaced today, and that is also one of the highlights of my week. So (sighs) with that in mind, buddy, I think we should probably move on, (laughs) unless you've got anything else. No, I'm good, buddy. Sweet. Okay, well, we've got a bumper show for you this evening. Obviously, with the scaled down one last week, I didn't really want to go into um, the, the questions and comments that we'd had without you buddy and also i'd been droning on for 45 minutes and it was time to call it a fucking day so uh so yeah we we got a bumper one we'll try and move it along we've got lots to get through lots of comments and questions also uh the the playstation show this week from paris that we're going to be getting into and some other controversies as well but to start off with i think it's probably time to talk about what we've been playing so do you want to kick things off, buddy? Obviously, you had your you had your PS4 Pro with you, and oh, um, I did. And it sounds like you you sort of stayed in and enjoyed the place quite a lot. So did you get much gaming in? Well, obviously. So uh, I played some Destiny Two, buddy. I know everyone's been oh, they've been missing out on the yeah, Destiny I mean, Two updates. An absolute raft of complaints. Last I know. Week when I know. It wasn't I know. Properly uh, mentioned. But I uh, so I I took uh, my PS4 Pro and I took my MacBook and so I had to kind of do the remote play thing um, because obviously the TV was in use uh, for other things and oh my god it was bad the uh, whatever router that they had there was fucking terrible obviously the internet shit but I thought oh, it's on a local network it will be fine I had to drop it down to like uh, was it. F- Three, three twenty or three twenty, yeah, yeah, and yeah, that shit looks ropey. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, fuck it, buddy. I managed to like the internet was powerful enough to log me into Destiny. Uh, so uh, yeah, I managed to do uh, some <laughs> some of my like flashpoints uh, in Destiny too. Uh, but when I got back, obviously on the Sunday, I fucking smashed it with uh, some of the dance. Did the nightfall. Then we went and did the prestige nightfall, which is like where like it's the super hard one where you have to be like, or the light, uh, the power level is like uh, recommended three hundred. So we smashed that as well, which was cool. Nice. Uh, I've now got uh, two of my characters up to three hundred four. So I'm waiting for a helmet on my Titan, which hasn't dropped yet after yesterday's shenanigans, and uh, a chest piece uh, for my warlock, and then I will be a max power level. Oh, yeah. Nice, man. And just in time, we're not too far away from the old uh, update, which, of course, we'll oh, talk about later on as well. So excited, mate. 
<laughs> loves a bit. <laughs> Can't get enough. Anyway, Destiny 2. That's a game that I've played way too much of. Over five days now. There you go. Over five days worth. You didn't need those. I didn't need those five <laughs> you didn't days. didn't need them. No. You lying on his deathbed <laughs> thinking, yeah. uh, at least I had that. At least <laughs> they can't take that away from me. Indeed. I've yeah. put like nearly 20 hours into Crucible. What yeah. is this? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm still enjoying it. Well, help yourself with Fuck these it. with this crucible mode. You are really spoiling us. I know, mental. Right, yeah. I, I won the game, buddy. I won the game of buying games. Oh, hello. So uh, once again on holiday uh, in the games room on the massive TV, they had the game Overcooked, and I've always thought of this as like you know a game that we would like to play together, but it's only local, you know, co-op. So yeah, that, and that's... that's always been a, a big no-no for. Games that we purchase, uh, but yeah, I, I played that Rezd many yeah. moons ago, and uh, and you yeah, did. we liked it, but we saw it was local, and uh, that Fucked was kind off. of that. <laughs> so yeah, um, me and the kids uh, played this, and um, it's a really really good game. It's loads of fun, like trying to like organize like everyone, so like they've got like little jobs to do, like you've got to like cut up the lettuce and then you've got to take it here and put it on the plate but then you've got to cook the soup oh no we've got to wash the dishes as well and you think you know that's loads of fun uh and it would be with adults but when you're playing with a (laughs) seven-year-old and a four-year-old it's fucking very frustrating and (laughs) i ended up shouting quite a bit like like an actual like gordon ramsay kind of thing without the swearing i was like where's my salad bowls ah. well, they, they gotta learn but i know it'll be dexterous gotta, gotta to teach learn. Him. gotta teach him yeah. like, the problem my son was like right your job is to cut the lettuce and put it over here so he starts in that he's doing a really good job i'm like sweet and my daughter's like picking up the lettuce putting it on the side for him he picks it up cuts it brings it over to me i do the rest and then like he's like, oh no, the dishes need washed. So he runs off and starts washing the dishes. I'm like, no, get back to your job. <laughs> <laughs> your dad must have been pissing himself because he is a yeah. basically a, a chef oh, who yeah. probably spent many years doing that in kitchens yeah, around the exactly. UK. <laughs> so yeah, buddy. So now we have overcooked. Um, we also have um, all the extra content as well because there might have been a cheeky code. That oh, I might have, might have piked from the, oh, from well, the box. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I was just like, oh, there's a code in this box. And then I put the disc in the PS4 there, and it had never been loaded up. And I was like, I'm guessing this code hasn't been used. Yoink. Man, it's fair game if no one wow. thought to do that before. Then. Exactly. Fucking schoolboy. Isn't yeah. it? Really? Uh, so, yeah, we got the, like, the extra DLC for it as well. Bonus. Nice. Gibbons, buddy. Uh, other games that we play, play some Jackbox. And, uh, you know, we're a big fan of the Jackbox. We mainly played Fibbage and Quiplash. And uh, I, I've met my match in uh, in these games now. So uh, we got the, the question popped up. What would be the worst thing to get for your nan for a birthday or something? I was like, straight in anal beads, you know. Yep. You don't want still, don't want still that playing shit. with the kids at this point, or are no? They in kids, bed at, kids are in bed at this kids point. Kids are in bed. Yeah. Okay, cool. And yeah. obviously, I didn't know who I came up against, and uh, yeah, I, as soon as it popped up, I saw the word dildo, and I was like, "Shit, who's this cunt?" <laughs> yeah, looking at my mum, I was like, "Maybe, could be, probably not." Looking at my wife, and yeah, possibly my wife, but then I'm looking at my dad, and he's got this massive grin on his face. I'm like, <laughs> I know it's you. And I'm like, oh, yes, here we go. This is the rag family, you know, level of comedy. <laughs> here Nailed we are. it. Yes, mate. So, yeah. After that, it was fair game. Anything went. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, yeah, just, uh, you know, uh, once again. Being excru- uh, extremely crude with my parents, you know, after the VR porn shenanigans before, and now Dirty Jackbox. It's, just, it's <laughs> Dirty never Jack- ending. Dirty Jackbox sounds like an interesting little phrase there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. No, <laughs> that's, I mean, it sounds like you found the perfect selection there. Definitely, yeah. It was loads of fun. And seriously, if, if anyone kind of likes playing games with relatives or like partners and stuff like and hasn't seen jackbox like definitely check it out uh it's loads of fun really it's very is. very good uh and finally buddy uh tricky towers 
great co-op game. We were playing some three-player once again with the kids and the wife. And yeah, just fucking probably one of my favorite PS Plus games that. Awesome. I'd agree with that. You know, easy to learn, hard to master. Yes, and totally. Um, just really fun. Mm, givens, buddy. So yeah, that's uh, that's about it uh, for me, games, this week. Um, I have downloaded the South Park, uh, the Fracture Butthole hour-long demo, I think it is. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, so I've got that downloaded. I haven't played it yet, um, but I probably, I'm guessing I will do for next week. And I think the if I do decide to buy that game whenever it is um the save progress does carry over to the full game which is pretty i cool. did hear that yes that's yeah. good news definitely it's a clever move really it, it should always do that with yeah, these time you, trials they should do really shouldn't they like because otherwise you're just playing the same content again and that's bollocks gibbons mm, gibbons so what have uh, what you been up to buddy what you've been playing this week uh, I've been playing basically the same as last week, if I'm honest, so I won't dwell. Um, have you played? You haven't played Wild Pants this week, have you? I have not played Wild Pants this week, buddy. Okay, yeah, cool. So um, how, let me start off been? with that. Um, bit of game night, Ghost War. Nice, um, like it. Playing as a three with the uh, with the Octo Pizzle and Funk, um, and we had a couple of decent partners. We started out with a terrible one. Uh, like our fourth player I mean um, oh, yeah. he was like a level one and he just had no fucking idea um, but <laughs> sort of I don't know maybe about half an hour into proceedings we got um, match maked match maked match made sticking with it up yeah. with um, someone uh, who was pretty reasonable and they stuck with us for a good sort of hour and a half oh nice that's um, cool and they were sniping, obviously they were sniping, obviously, but they, standard. they did a brilliant job of countering the opposition sniper. Yeah. Um and we went on a bit of a run and it was it was good. It was it was very, very good. Um that game is awesome and has masses of potential. Uh I still I still have issues here and there with it. Uh, yeah. the sniping thing being one of them. Um but also I recognise that that's kind of my opinion and as many people, probably more people, would disagree with me on that uh, than would. But hmm. I, I just I don't think it warrants uh, snipers, frankly. Um, no, yeah. But we've been through there before. But either way, um, it, it was really, really good. Like I, I feel like I'm getting a bit better um, at knowing when to be sort of gung-ho and also the confidence that comes with having some random dude who um is gonna be like overwatch like not like not saying when we were playing as a four like we didn't have that but it's someone who's literally fucking lived the sniper for the last like month on that game is like hugely high level knows all of the best places to camp out um and and he was also doing a decent job of moving with the team as well but just the fact that like funk's obviously pumped hours into this thing pj's desperate to learn because he's really enjoying it um and i think we got a little bit lucky with some of our opponents as well we met some right useless shitheads um but overall it was a really good experience and uh we had a, a great time i'm looking forward to getting back on that shit as a four because um, yeah. it, it isn't the same when you're not the whole team, but um, yeah, man, uh, just so so much promise and uh, and really fun. Um, equal parts frustrating, but mm. you get you get used to it. So so yeah, there you go. That was the bulk of game night. Um, nice. Funk and I played a fair old whack of Project Cars Two as well. Such a good game. Like really getting our teeth into that now. Um, played some more tracks that we hadn't played before and they were brilliant um it's just so nice to have all these different types of racing games now um which leads us quite nicely into gran turismo sport (laughs) which uh i've been playing a lot of this week uh and you joined me yay Um, i played a different game (laughs) there he was so yeah you um i suppose i mean i've spoken for a couple of weeks about gran turismo sport so it'd be quite nice to get your take on it really for the sort of hour and a half or so that we played yeah so we got the wheels out uh monday night i think it was and yeah i think uh, it was chucked a couple of hours in um yeah uh, it's it's arcade simulation 
Yeah, it's like it's you like know, a yeah. simulator <laughs> if it's not simulating real racing. Yeah, it seems like it's yeah. it's it's so it's, it's like David S. Pumpkins, but it, <laughs> it's its own thing. It doesn't it really behave yeah. how cars do, but it's also not sort of like Ridge Racer. I, I, in it's, some ways, it did. Like I felt like the braking was like very realistic, but then the handling just wasn't in yeah. a way like I don't know like. I feel like if I was driving like this, playing Project Cars or F1, I'd I'd just be dead. Yeah, it'd be all over. Absolutely. Yeah. I just yeah. wouldn't I mean, be able to way, hold it. But. The way the car turns and the way that you can feel like understeer and oversteer mm. uh, and kind of accelerate into it, and you're sort of almost grinding Gr- yeah. along the track. It's 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 odd, but it's it feels pretty good, mm. uh, especially Definitely. on the wheel. I don't know what the fuck those videos are all about, mate. They were weird. Oh, what the uh, sportsmanship <laughs> ones? Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to look bad, though. Uh, you, you, know, see, just, you saw what I meant about that. I just that, don't want like, to look bad. You that know, is not this. the definition of sportsmanship. Sportsmanship. Doing, just don't look bad. Don't you know, look bad. It's all bad. about looking good. It's about, it's about being good. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think I prefer being good than looking good. You do, you know, th- do you think they maybe did that to fashion. appeal to douchebags? I, to think, be like, I think you're spot on there. I think yeah. it's like, don't, don't look like a cunt. I mean, you can be a cunt, but just don't look like one. Yeah. Like, try, and, try and, you know... Mask it by not being a cunt. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> Very strange, but yeah, yeah we had some good races, odd. didn't we? Yeah, man. We, yeah, we did. Uh, unfortunately, I only had like five cars. Yeah. I had like a, a Ford uh, Focus, like 1.5 or something. Uh, I had a couple of safety cars. Um, uh, pre order perk. Pre order perk there, nice. Uh, I had a go kart and some PlayStation Mobile. I don't know what it was. That was like a supercar, wasn't it? Like a- yeah, that was lots of fun though. That one, but um, uh, once again, uh, it comes down to um, with, with a lot of simulation games. I'm not a fan of the slow cars. It's just, it's just slow, and that's not what I want out of a racing game. So it's not knocking the game because it's doing what the game should be doing. I just don't want to drive those road cars that are. Like pants, in a way, it's just yeah. not my cup of tea. As you say, it's just it just comes down to personal preference because I really like that. Yeah, um, just because it's different, just because yeah, totally. a lot of games don't bother. But I do recognise that it can be a little bit sluggish, and you almost forget sometimes that. Like, okay, we can't really do five laps of this track if we're in a couple of fucking minis because we'll be here all night. <laughs> we'll be so, here for like uh, a good twenty-five minutes or something like that. So, like, I don't know in in the career mode if when you start off in those uh cars like does it give you like shorter tracks or less laps to do or is it like seriously you've got a race for 25 minutes in this thing uh, um basically most of the career mode isn't races anyway they're like sort of 30 is it to like a questionnaire seconds. Oh, okay it's, it's like little do do these three <laughs> bends in 35 oh, seconds okay or something well, that's like kind of that. cool yeah because um, obviously i haven't even touched on that literally all i've done is played online yeah, it's good. It's good. It gives you little challenges. So you got like maybe you got a kind of different, but I kind of respect it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You do. You spend a lot of time not actually racing other vehicles, but yeah, um, it, it's more like practicing for. Yeah, guess, it's got like, three different types. It's got like um, those sort of road tests. Mm-hmm. Then it's got ones that are sort of like three port uh, challenges. Uh, and then there's one, there's there's a whole mode uh, sort of dedicated to learning all the tracks. But there's bronze, silver, and gold medals Obviously, for yeah. these different things. So you've got got to grind yeah, it like, out, mate. Yeah, you've got like time gold. trial stuff, or yeah. just learning certain segments like mm-hmm. sectors to do those quickly. It breaks it up very nicely, and it's just really Moorish. It's just very addictive. Nice. Uh, one thing I did like. Um, in the, uh, I like to, if it's um, like a racing game that I don't play a lot, I like to have like semi-assisted lines on or something like that. And on this game, you can put, you can have the cones on, which I thought was amazing. So what they do, like literally there are cones on the side of the racetrack. So like when you went on your um, driving day out round, uh, was it Brands Hatch? Yep, that's right. Yeah, you when I went had out the, the, the braking cones and like the apex cones, and they're on this game. I've never seen a game do that. I was like, that's it's, it's so very cool. cool. 
Yeah, cool. I really like that. Yeah, basically, there's a there's a cone on the outside of the bend, and that's supposed to be your turning in point. And then there's another cone on the apex, and that's where you should be sort of kissing it, like touching the inside. Exactly. Um, and and it, it it really does help if you if you follow it, especially on this game where you can turn in incredibly early, and the car just sort of I don't know. It's 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 almost like there's a delay. <laughs> yeah. That bend. Um, Around Brands Hatch GP circuit, when you, you you come onto the GP bit from the normal bit, and then there's that right hander that's really fast. It's quite hard to master. Yeah. But on on this game, you can just chuck the cars around there. <laughs> like you, you don't even have to necessarily break. Yeah. It's mental. But um, yeah, it do, it does a lot of things that sim games either don't do or wouldn't bother doing. Um, and it's just it's just different i think i like it because it's so different even though i do take massive umbrage with the whole the real driving simulator tag that it's got because yeah. of of all of the driving sims available it is the least of a simulator um not to knock it as a game but it it certainly is not a sim in the way that <laughs> the other games are no. But I, th- I think that's why we're going to enjoy it because, you know, we're, we've got our, our true sim in Project Cars 2. We've yep. got our F1, which is yep. F1. And we've got this, which is more of a, an arcadey one. Um, yeah. I, I feel like um, it's it's an in-between um, drive club and Project Cars. It's like spot bang on in the middle kind of thing. That's absolutely right. That's exactly um, what it's like. You can't like. really chuck the back out like using the handbrake. Um but I'm sure uh isn't it got like some dirt tracks and stuff on it's it? It's got dirt tracks well? which yeah, so, I, I've hated I mean, so far but it's also oh, actually okay. got a dedicated drift mode. Oh okay. So um, yeah, yeah, that was it. I remember you saying that actually. Yeah, so yes. I'm I, I definitely want to have a go at that and see what it's like and also you said it's it's pretty decent to play with with a controller as well, so I'm looking. Forward it's to the that best well. of all of them to play with a controller, probably because it's the least simulation. Yeah, that's um, what I was going to say. But it, it yeah, feels but... nice on a controller, and um, this just the way that the whole game, especially the online, is put together, is is really nice. Lots of different modes and styles of play. Mm. When you make a lobby, you can say um, what sort of thing it is. Is this a serious thing? Is this just for fun? Do we want to just do practices? And and as I, I think I mentioned to you when we were playing on Monday. Day, one of one of the things that really pleased me about it was you can just set up basically like a track day mode. Uh, so someone's just got a dedicated lobby, um, say around the the Nordschleife or something, around yeah. like the Nurburgring. Um, they can just set it up to run uh, for as long as you want. Uh, that it doesn't necessarily keep track of laps. Uh, it's just like a, you know it it'll it'll keep track of times and have a leaderboard of times. But anyone can jump in. It can be running for an hour and then another person joins. You're essentially doing what you'd do in real life if you went down to Germany, paid your sort of thirty five euros with your car and did a lap. You can just jump in whenever you want. So um, stuff like that's really refreshing. And as I've mentioned before, and I want to reinforce again. This is the only racing game that I have played in the last fucking, I don't know, like eight years where you can go online, play with strangers and have a good race. It's the only one nice. because of the systems that are in place that penalize you so heavily if you're a douchebag. Uh, and they really deserve a huge amount of credit for that. Gibbons, buddy, I believe so. So, yeah. So, yeah, there you go. Um, other than that, uh, I did win the league on pairs. I know people have been waiting all week to find Whee! that out, buddy. I won it on goal difference from the wow. Arsenal. Nice. Um, Fuck and, those guys. And I'm also very pleased to say they appear to have fixed the wage what? glitch bug, whatever. Um, what, with an update? They've updated the game? No, I, I hadn't. I just hadn't really got that far yet. But oh, okay. Um, so I ran out of... Uh, it got to January and I had like 70 million in the bank, uh, but only 200,000 wages, so I couldn't sign anyone. And I was like really pissed off. I was like, okay, they fucked this again. Mm. Um, but I got to the end of the season and the, there was a, a bit where the board like um, reconsiders all of the finances and you're given the finances for the new season. And on last year's game, you, you're still given fuck all. Like you might get an extra million or something uh, for your wage bill. Um, but I got an extra 15 million for my oh, wages. Nice. Um, That's good. And then as soon as I won the like Community Shield and the Super Cup, 
uh, I got another Standard. like five. So I ended up with 20 million wage budget. So it was adjusted according to how well I'd done and everything. Yeah, the way yeah. it should be. So that, they, they, oh, it looks like they've mean. fixed that, um, which is rather nice. But yeah, won the league, really enjoying the Master League on that, playing masses of the co-op. We was playing it all week when you weren't here, and then we had a go as a three the other night, didn't we? And... Um, it's just really good. It's really, really good. We're up in Division One. Um, we're, we'll struggle to stay there. It's quite competitive that high up, but um, there are problems with this in that the uh, the my club ultimate team mode teams um, uh, you're thrust into playing with them because there just aren't enough teams to go around to match make with, um, and it's a massive issue because it means you can keep coming up against dream teams and get fucked. But uh, <laughs> overall, the mode is cool, and I really like it. And we've played the balls off it. But, yes, uh, we definitely have. Well, you <clears> definitely have. I've <laughs> pitched in every now and again. Givens, buddy. Uh, the only other thing is The Witcher, which I'm still playing The Witcher 3 with the missus. Um, we are balls deep in this game, and she Ooh. absolutely fucking loves it. Nice. Honestly. Um, yeah, we. it's really weird. I keep, I keep seeing trophies pop up that I got before. And I think it's because this is like the ultimate edition. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, well, that makes sense, yeah. I, so I borrowed the disc game. off of yeah. Funk before, and the two things, it doesn't seem to have... I don't know, because the trophies are there. Like, So I got the Lilac and Gooseberries trophy, which is fairly early in the stories. Um, and I, I had it before. It was there already, but it just came up as though it had unlocked again. It's kind of yeah. weird. Um but yeah, um, that game is absolutely fucking brilliant, and I'm so pleased that we have that I've finally gone back to it. I, I knew I would, and uh, and here we are. Brilliant, nice mate. I, one day, maybe it'll happen, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'll be Fallout next for us, you know. But uh, that's, no, it's a few never. weeks into the future because The Witcher's not a short game. Mm, terrible. I don't know if I mentioned I deleted um, Elder Scrolls Online. Yeah, I think <laughs> I don't know if that was in a personal note or if it was on the podcast. I just, you know, it was a sad that ship day. Ship has sailed, buddy. It was a sad day. Mm. So yeah, that's um, that's me, buddy. Um, so I suppose we move on, unless you've got anything else. No, buddy, that's about it for me. Sweet, let's move on. And now it's time for the news. Number one. Number wang. I bet that was hard to do on your own last week. It was tricky. It was tricky. I bet. Um, (laughs) Number one. Number wang. Number one. one. Uh, This is, I suppose it's a number one, but actually this is going to be a big old report. Um, There's there's very little news this week other than the big show, the Paris Games Week show. Well, Um, it's the big show. (laughs) And, um, yeah, so... I'd, I'd imagine with you being away, you probably didn't get the chance to to watch any of this, really. No, that's fair. Well, I'm here. I'm here to. <laughs> you think you, that I, I would do some research after it, or just you know, but I just no. I I mean, I saw some headlines. It's my way of doing things. Skip through the headlines. I'm like, is that interesting? Not really. Okay, next. <laughs> Well, if you if you don't know much about it at this point, buddy, you shortly will. Uh, ah, good news! Because I watched the show and I made notes, um, like some sort of little fucking geek. So here we are. That's that's a bit harsh. I do do a podcast, so that's why I did that. But um, yeah, uh, so Paris Games Week, the PlayStation conference. Um, firstly, mixed bag in terms of how, what people thought of this. Um, I saw a lot of people saying that they thought this show was really, really good, possibly stronger than Sony's E3 showing. Um, I would argue that that isn't hard, because I thought Sony's showing at E3 was was fairly shite, if you ask me. Um, <laughs> so not that weird that this was better. Um, but I think it probably was slightly better, but um, let's get into it. Um, there was a theme here, though, buddy, and uh, we'll see if you can identify that theme as we go through proceedings. So, firstly, um, 
<clears throat> there was this big pre-show thing. Uh, there might be there might be a couple of bits that I missed from that because I just couldn't bring myself to watch it anymore um, because they were just four wankers behind a desk just just fapping away at Sony Ooh. for about love an hour it. before the actual conference began. Um, and uh, you know, some from like PlayStation. Um, is it lifestyle or magazine or some bullshit? You know the sort of, I uh, just just it's just shit. It's fucking shit. And mm-hmm. there, there was, I don't I don't know who all of them were. Uh, two of them were, were Brits. One of them was actually Holly Bennett, who's been in the industry forever in various different roles. But it was just I know that this was a PlayStation show, so obviously yeah. they're going to be pretty biased and positive. But it was embarrassing. If you ask me, I found the whole thing almost completely unwatchable and did switch off halfway through until the actual uh, presentation started properly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, So I did pick up a few things, um, but mainly let's focus on the conference here, buddy. Uh, Firstly, Spelunky 2 was announced. Um, That game was great and a lot of people loved it. So that obviously went down rather well. Ibbins. No gameplay there, though, buddy, but, you know, I'm it's guessing Spelunky it'll look 2. exactly the same. <laughs> it probably look pretty similar, I would imagine. Um, but, yeah, so next time PJ asks, what can I play on my Vita? I'd imagine Spelun- this, this will Spun- be... Spunkily 2. This will be the next one. There we go. Um, then we had the announcement of the new Sucker Punch game, is the infamous guys um ghost of tsushima which, tsushima eh? okay yeah or yeah. shushima i think it was shushima because it's that ts makes, that's nice yeah so it's shushima uh, this was this is a samurai game like a proper japanese samurai um game i i don't know how it looks or plays buddy because there was no gameplay there was no gameplay Lots of just fucking CGI cutscenes. So awesome. But yeah, that's going to be a game. What do you think of that? Are you up for a samurai game? I thought it was Tenchu I... when they announced it. I was getting well excited. I was like, fucking Tenchu? Yes, please. But no. <sighs> Sam, what? Uh, yeah, go on then. Fuck it. Why not? I mean, we haven't got any games anywhere at the moment, so anything's better than nothing, buddy. I'd love to tell you more about it in terms of what to- what type of game. Yeah, I mean, how does it play? I presume it it's, like- it's going to be a third-person shooter. That's their specialty. Um, but, yeah, who knows? It looked very story-driven uh, in a, a time when uh, there's a bit of controversy surrounding whether uh, companies want to keep making first-person... Uh, sorry, f- one-player games. But um, either way, yeah, samurai game. There you go. Um then, then what? Oh yeah, then they announced. Sony announced uh, they're very excited about PlayLink, uh, which is their. I'm new... sure they are, mate. I bet they they're fucking. Ah, oh, but they can't wait. Yeah, what, really what's exciting. coming our way with PlayLink? <laughs> <laughs> fucking well, th- there were there were a couple of things um, which I'll, I'll mention later on, which genuinely did look interesting about PlayLink. But what really fucking irked me, and we've had this conversation before, is that th- th- he was like, oh, we're really thrilled with the success of That's You. Uh, <laughs> up and so far, That's You has had over 3 million downloads. And I'm thinking, yeah, that'll <laughs> fucking happen when you put it as a PS Plus title for how, four yeah, months. Yeah, but how many PS Plus subscribers are there? Well, There's that's more exactly. than three million. I think the real statistic you want to be looking at is how many of your PS Plus subscribers have not fucking bothered to download your free game. Yeah, That's exactly. your question. That's the one. Right there. That's the one. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, they were wanking all over that. And, and you know, that's fine. Like, I'm up for that sort of mobile experience because... Positive. Jackbox is cool, Jackbox um, is and you'd cool. understand the positive spin as well. But uh, yeah, that was fucking annoying that they said that. Um, also, something I noticed in the first five to six minutes of this conference, uh, the words "best place to play" in that order were uttered five times, literally once once a minute. Best place to play, <laughs> and at one point, I think he said it in two, two or three sentences in a row. Like it was really like notable. 
He just kept saying best place to play to the point where I started mouthing the words along with him. So I guess I'm being brainwashed and that's the yeah, aim. Yeah, well, well done. I'm in. Um, so is it, what was the the tag before, wasn't it? Like the, you know, saying the most powerful thing or something, wasn't it? Something, it was about power anyway. So they're trying to do a spin on that and just say best place to play. So it's like... It's not the most powerful anymore. But well, that's it's the thing. The best. Yeah, maybe they, they're using it out before the X comes out. <laughs> yeah, it could just be that as well, you know, because that isn't out technically yet, but it is when this goes live. I want to well, the, the, within no, a few it, days it, it, of no, this going live. Yeah, yeah, it, it's, um, yeah. Week today or week. Tuesday, it was just annoying. Tuesday. It's just annoying <laughs> to see some suit on a stage repeating the same fucking phrase because they're trying to get people to think it and use it. But it, you know, it's it's like corporate bullshit, and just just fuck off. Um, and my kind of general feeling coming out of the end of this show overall uh, was that of kind of annoyance and fairly unimpressed. There was there was some good shit here, absolutely. But just and and the way it was staged was lovely. By the way, that if any, I don't know how many of our listeners bothered to sort of watch this and I'd understand if you didn't but the the stage setup was beautiful in there and they'd really gone because of the whole VR thing they're trying to push and AR as well they'd really gone for it with the staging here every game was on a like a, obviously a massive screen as you'd expect but then all the sides of the stage the floor um it all kind of spread onto that as well like lovely use of colors uh, any games where there was sort of thunder and lightning and rain uh, they really sort of accentuated that in the in the auditorium with actual genuine lightning lights and and like water effects and stuff it was really nicely done very very nice indeed visual uh, yeah really classy genuinely so like one of the best i've ever seen right nice. up there so that was cool um next concrete genie um this looks what really okay. nice uh, okay I, I have no idea i mean you're throwing out two words there that i would <laughs> never put together Concrete Genie uh, is a game by uh, Pixel Opus, which uh, they made Entwined, but this is their first major release. Um, and it looks like Sony are kind of going balls deep on this as a sort of uh, real good sort of family game. Uh, this is definitely going to be something I think you'll be interested in looking up for, you know, with your kids in mind. Um, okay, cool. But it the thing that really stuck out here was the graphics so it looks like it's a third person adventure game uh you play a kid who's got like a, a like a magic finds like a magic shard that's sort of a paintbrush type thing um and then from what i could make out the mechanics of the game are essentially you're going around this very um sort of bleak uh lot sort of brickwork town um and graffitiing up the walls but you're doing it in a way that they they've created a proper sort of paint program so that you can draw on the walls you can use uh, different filters uh, and and pre-configured shapes and arms and legs and stuff and you're yeah. drawing these monsters um but not scary monsters sort of cutesy monsters ink monsters and putting them into these um, very colourful environments with trees and so on. And as you draw it, the whole thing kind of starts to come to life um, and you know, trees will start waving and water will start flowing and stuff right on the sides of these buildings. Um, and it seems like that kind of is, is the game. It's kind of like a an adventure game where you, you sort of explore your creative side. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff with players kind of seeing stuff coming out at them the monsters that you draw kind of um interacting with you so that you can open gates and do that sort of thing so sort of like white swan stuff in there splatoon stuff in there uh, a real like medley of of previous ideas mixed with some new ones um and then at the very center of this essentially you're kind of being bullied by sort of asshole school kids um, <laughs> okay. and, and this and, and you're kind of the outsider a little bit and this is your escape kind of thing okay um, it, as i said it, it looks like they're going balls deep on this one yeah, like, yeah. it, it looked it, it was you know it was probably the first big thing that we saw 
and uh, they they were clearly very proud of it. Um, it, it was referenced later on in a, a, a couple of articles this week. Uh, we'll get into the sort of controversy surrounding the rest of this show later on. But um, yeah, again, it, it looks awesome. Whether it'll actually be something that is good to play, I don't know. But Sorry, Rob's on the chat in YouTube. He says, uh, I think its uh, aim is for the druggies. It has got a little bit of a, yeah, <laughs> has got a little bit of that going on. But um, yeah. Oh, wow. It does look this gorgeous. And, and I'm nice. sure in 4K on a pro, that's going to look something else, to be honest. <laughs> Whatever happened to that? Was it Dreams or something? That fucking... We haven't heard anything about that for a yeah, good I know, exactly. year that's or so I'm, now. That's, that's the thing, that just looking at this, this is just like taking me thinking about that game, like the whole creativity, whatever bollocks thing. They're still working on that um, because we've got Media Molecule on our Twitter feed and they make yeah. regular updates, but it's not been shown at a show this year, I don't think. so. That looks interesting. Definitely a game that you know, it might be worth picking up. I bet it's fucking touchpad as well. That's wank. It could be, but then if you think about where they're going with PlayLink, it could just as easily be on your phone, and I think that works quite well with uh, Jackbox. So yeah, um, I guess so. That could absolutely work, and and if you could do that on a tablet, mm. yeah, then, like a large tablet. Yeah, cool, yeah, then really you're away. So um, yeah, yeah that- I think you're gonna be spot on. It's gonna be on your phone, isn't it? It looks nice, doesn't it? Mm. It looks really cool, yeah. Interesting, different, new. I like it. Yeah, I mean, that's what. That's why it stood out, I think. Yeah. Um, speaking of, uh, we also had Erica, which is another PlayLink game. Um, and this is uh, like one of those sort of interactive movies. The graphics are exceptional to the point where there was a real sort of uncanny valley thing going on. And I was, wasn't sure whether I was looking at video footage or not. It was that good. Um, but it is graphics. Is this the FMV thing? Yes. Yes. yes I, I did read there was an FMV thing. There's a couple this on the it. store already. Um, yeah. But they don't, oh, but they look very thing. sort of lo fi. But this looks more like it. Um, yeah, I, I I don't know. You, you can never tell. It's weird that these kind of games are having like a bit of a resurgence in a way, like it's, the whole it's like the Wing Commander games of old. Kind yeah, of thing. I'm just like, okay, cool, but you know, it's that couch co-op, you know, mentality. If you're watching something together, you can kind of pick it out, and yeah, I like yeah, it. You it's look cool. at Until Dawn, for example, exactly. like did that I mean, so yeah. well, totally. curated experiences. It's um, it's cool. Yeah, once again, something new and interesting. I'm interested. You can see why people dug this show, can't you? Because it's yeah, man. It's, and and then then they went into their VR presentation, um, uh. which again, like I'm I'm not super interested at this point. Although um, I am keeping an eye on the 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 how much everything is here. Based yeah, on they, they brought out the the bunder room now with the the camera and the wands or whatever they're called. Yeah, and stuff yeah, like and, and, and you know, you know that's. With the new, with the new version coming out, with the uh, yeah, the earbuds and stuff built then, in, then and things like if that, the old yeah. one goes down, then with the racing oh, games and the wheel we have, love like it our, when the old one goes down. <sighs> yeah, so just, I'm just gonna pick on Wayne Rooney there, but we'll nice, move on. Yeah, um, so yeah, they had VR presentation, uh, Ace Combat, uh, which presumably will be shit because they've all been shit for years, <laughs> but uh, looks great in VR. Uh, and again, it's a cockpit game, so why yeah, wouldn't it? Exactly. Um, it's be they fun. showed off some Resident Evil stuff, some new packs and stuff that are coming out that looked very interesting. Uh, Moss, which is a, a game where you control a little sort of Stuart, little mouse motherfucker, buddy. Uh, nice. I think it looks shit, but there you go. Um, <laughs> League of War, which is more up your alley. This is. I mean, that sounds like a terrible name. League of War is a terrible name. Absolutely, uh, it's a terrible name. Uh, and there there are real grave concerns that this lo- almost looks a bit like a sort of mobile free-to-play game. But yeah. it is a tabletop VR game, as oh, in your sort of no. real-time strategy on is a table it? thing. Okay, yeah, I'll go watch the, watch the trailer, watch the trailer, skipping through half the trailer. So you got oh, that. God, it looks terrible, but that's the premise of but it. That's, that's the premise, I want. isn't it? And that's the first time we've really seen this that. This is what I want. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there it is. So, yeah. Oh, oh. How cool is that going to be? Be like, woo, little things going. Yeah. You know, like, you're massive. You're like God. They stay mm. in their case pretty well here. Hit them with your hands and 
squish them and pick them up. Uh, it could be cool. It could I be mean, cool. I mean, that woman, she was happy because she won with that little bounce up and down yep. on the sofa. There it was. Just there. Well done. I mean, yeah. that looks like a fucking terrible game, but baby steps, people. Come yeah, on. absolutely. And if it, if even if it looks graphically awful, if the core concept is there, yeah, then um, that could be exciting stuff. Uh, we move on. Ultra Wings, which looks cool. Uh, it's uh, yeah, it's a flight sim, but like a sort of cartoony kind of is flight it like sim. Pilot Wings. It's it's a bit polygonal <laughs> in that sense, but it just looks quite fun. Um, I think it's. I think this is. There's there's something that came out. Oh, the dragon thing came out. We're, yeah, forget that for now. Um, yeah. So Ultra Wings again. Like it looks looks like a bit of a little sort of indie title, but again with yeah. the v, with the VR stuff, it'll work. It'll work well. It'll look. It cool. looks like a, a shit. Um, what was the puzzle game on the island? That one. The witness. Yeah, it looks like a. Shit shitness. Witness. Yeah, it looks like the shitness. The shitness. We'll call it the shitness from now on. <laughs> uh, Dead Hungry uh, is some sort of zombie fucking... The, yeah, like they giveth and taketh away. Um, right. It just looked like fucking one of those shooting galleries, but with zombies and terrible graphics. So there you go. The important thing, though, is content is coming. And the showpiece uh, was London Studios' Blood and Truth. Uh, now, this looks to me like when they made that London Heist VR demo, which was the very the, the one and only time that I've put on a VR headset and, and I thought was amazing. Ah, um, yes, I remember. The, this is that game, car. as in in its entirety. Oh, okay, so that first one was just like the, a demo of it. Kind it, of looks, it looks that way. So this is the full... The, the full thing. Uh, it's supposed to be a sort of gritty Cockney spy shooter. Um, and... Uh, as such, has masses of potential. It looked to me like they've gone for uh, stick movement rather than teleportation, which is, a, a, you know, absolutely crucial. If you ask me, yeah. I will never be pro teleportation in a VR game. I'd no, much rather I don't, I don't just like the wander idea, around on the troll. Yeah. Um, so there's that. Uh, some some cool little performances and quirky characters and stuff reminded me of uh, like the getaway on the PS2 to a degree, but mm. um, doing that in VR is hugely exciting if you ask me, and that could be a real winner. And, and certainly they saved that as what they considered to be like the best till last as a bit of a goer. So yeah, man, this looks well good. Looks I'll nice, this. surprisingly nice graphically as well. Yeah, like, seriously, especially some of the uh, face work and stuff. Very, very tasty. So, yeah. So, there's that. <laughs> that looks cool. Definitely want to play that. Yeah. So, there's your VR segment there. Um, and, you know, they were always going to go go big on that. And fair play to them. They need to push it. Um, and I think they, they did a reasonable job. Uh, we move on. Fly, Far Cry 5, uh, which is now confirmed to have 100% co-op. All missions, all Yay! content. So uh, they, uh, there's actually an update for this today as well uh, after the, the show because people have kind of been asking questions. Um, what, as soon as you get out of the tutorial area on Far Cry 2, you can invite a friend in. They come okay, in as five. a custom character, which you can create, and then you can play the entire game as a pair. Um, your, your main man, your sort of uh, player one, has to sort of initiate all of the missions yeah, and obviously. so on. Yeah. Um, and all of the earnings and pickups and everything go to the, the, the player one. Obviously, player two keeps weapons and stuff they pick up while they're in the game. Yeah. Um, but actual progress won't be saved for the second player. So you could conceivably have to go through it twice to unlock all the achievements and stuff. Yeah, I think I that's gonna... fine. I've got no problem with that at all. Mm, I, I still think that could be better. Well, you could. I mean, ideally, <laughs> they want people to go through it twice. I think, and uh, I understand. Maybe, that, yeah, yeah I, I can understand the decision, um, and hopefully, the game's good enough that you want to play through it twice in a sort True. of Borderlands kind of way. Yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, it's the whole thing can be done as a two, um, which is kind of compelling, really, and quite exciting. So that was no, good. yeah, the fact that it's got full cop is is a good thing. I just, I, I still not. Um, I think they could have done better. You know why? Why can't I save my progress as a character and things like that? I feel a bit cheated. <sighs> I cared a lot more about that sort of shit. 
a, a, a few years ago. I, I don't give a toss now, if I'm honest. I, I, yeah, I, I totally get where you're coming from. But, um, yeah, it's just one of those things, I think. Yeah, they, it, is, it is one of them things. It is what it is, isn't it? You know? The fact oh, that well. you can play it as a two. A yeah, full, that, a full, that's the fact. Full blown Far Cry yeah. game as a two. Instead of just, uh, what was it, those like little forts or whatever it was on four? Yeah. Yeah, the sort of foraging and that sort of thing. Mm. Very cool. So that was that. Uh, Destiny 2, I won't dwell here because I know that you're going to go into detail on this um, later on. Maybe. Is that, right? Is that right? Or something? Yeah, why not? We'll just talk about it later. Okay. It's fine. Well, either way, they showed a trailer. It was. Um, <laughs> It was the expansion, The Curse of Osiris. Indeed. Um, which is going to be set on Mercury. Um, the trailer was fucking dreadful. Yeah, it uh, was. The script was utterly awful. As always. Uh, but the design of everything looked very, very cool. Yes. Um, and I look forward to having something to do again on that game. Because <laughs> I have actually missed playing it. But I, every time I think about loading it up, I'm like, game, buddy. why the fuck would I? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, that was that, and uh, we maybe have more on that later. Monster Hunter World, um, which I just don't know. I mean, firstly, graphically, it looks shite, um, or, or it looks PS3 graphically. Um, I, I just, I don't really understand that. If it was made from the ground up for the current gen consoles, then you know, I know these games have been like 3DS and nothing else for ages, but this looks like a. It, Calling it a port of the 3DS is obviously completely unfair, but it just doesn't look up to scratch. Maybe that doesn't matter if you're a fan of these sorts of games, but uh, I don't know. It looks like Bloodborne, but with like big monsters and that being the main aim. So sort of a Bloodborne crossed with maybe like Shadow of the Colossus. A lot of people are going to dig it, um, but I think it's possibly a bit too niche for me. Um, and there's a weird pre-order perk here where you, you can, if you pre-order this game, you can play as Aloy from Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, Weird. I don't know why. I don't know why that's a pre-order perk, or why you would want to do that. But either way, there we go. So uh, apparently, um, I, I think PS Plus subscribers get access to some kind of alpha of this in December. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully think, we'll be able to. I don't know. Well, I'm up for giving it a go. So <laughs> that'd be cool. Sure. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, next. Uh, the the award for the worst named game, you thought that we'd already had it um, with League of War, <laughs> but we hadn't. Okay, because okay, where are we at now? Allow me to introduce you the new game from Codemasters, buddy. <laughs> On Rush. Okay, let me Google this. Uh, On Rush. Describe it while I find a video of how shit this game is. Uh, it's a Codemasters game. It's an off-road arcade racer featuring both bikes and buggies. Bikes and buggies, okay. I so like it. Sort of like motocross madness mixed with maybe those sort of ATV games, but it's from Codemasters who tend to know their shit. So, What am I looking at? Okay. What you're so... looking at, buddy, is no gameplay. That's what you're looking at. Okay, well, that's pointless. But we've wanted an arcade racing game for a while. Um, so, yeah, maybe. What do you reckon? No gameplay. Who knows? But, yeah. Um, no. You're not sure? <laughs> I, d- I just think it's going to be a shit track mania. I mean, and that's possible, but uh, again, there's there's so many pitfalls when you make a game like that. How do you implement tricks if you do at all? Whether they're actually relevant? Um, I, don't, I don't know. We'll keep an eye, but obviously we've seen nothing at this point other than a carefully curated FMV sequence. So, uh, so there we go. Yeah, cool. He's not sure. Moving no. on. Uh, Spider-Man Ooh. from Insomniac. Spider-Man, yep, yeah, he's there. Again, did we get some gameplay we this time? We saw no gameplay. Cool. We've seen Great. gameplay for this before. We in have. In short bursts. But on this occasion, we saw no gameplay. Uh, next, Detroit, uh, which still looks like heavy-handed horse shit. This was a... I, I'd forgotten this game existed. Yeah. 
It's, that was a better time. Who gives a fuck? But at the same time, <laughs> um, it's going to be a big title, and there'll be a lot of sort of hype surrounding it. Uh, this it look it looks like what they're going to be trying to do here is little episodes uh, within the game where you play as different sort of androids. Uh, and you can kind of make decisions and that changes the way that the game works. Like, who cares, frankly? And the, the, the sort of heavy handed horse shit that he's trying to shovel down your throat. Yeah. It's fucking miserable. There's no nuance to it. Uh, it's just so over the top from everything that I've seen so far. This was, uh, uh, an android that lived with, uh, uh, a, a daughter and her abusive father and the various different ways that she could uh, try and save the girl or leave the girl or whatever. Like, it's it, it, it's going to be I'm, a I'm series sorry. of fucking... Uh, all I'm hearing is blah, 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 I'm a dirty tramp. Absolutely. It's just going to be button combinations, press fucking square <laughs> to do this, Technically, whatever. Technically, all games are just button combinations. Yeah, but this is going to be one where it tells you on the screen to do it. <laughs> what buttons to press? Yeah, I know, press I know. square. <laughs> fucking rotate the analog uh, sticks because you're doing your exercise in the morning. Just fuck off with your fucking bullshit. <laughs> Not interested. So that was that. Um, yeah. Next one, uh, God of War, uh, which looks c- continues to look fantastic. Uh, now confirmed that that voice is Christopher Judge, a.k.a. Tilk. We kind of suspected as much. Um I do want to quickly mention pre-trailers, though, as a thing. It's not specific to this game or even the the medium of games, but I I fucking hate it. I don't know why I hate it. I think it's just such a fucking modern Twitter-esque fucking Snapchat-style bullshit mechanic. (laughs) What I'm talking about here is I go to watch a trailer for a movie on YouTube, and and it, it loads up, and I get... Eight seconds of like quickly cut together action fucking bollocks before the trailer begins, like do a it. pre-trailer all day. And and God of War had this. It's the first time I've seen a game do it. Um, fucking hell, <laughs> man! I don't know why I hate it so much. Please, uh, please get in touch, buddies, <laughs> if you also hate this. Um, yeah, more and more prevalent all of a sudden because you because you're att- you're such a fuckwit, everyone on earth. You're such a fuckwit. Your attention span's so short. We got to stop you from clicking off it by showing you like eight seconds or something before we even show you the thing that is supposed to be advertising the thing. <laughs> fucking hell! Oh my god! Fucking sweet. Buddy. Oh, I wish I was fucking dead. Well, you know. So yeah, that was that, buddy. Um, god of War looks really cool. Uh, we also had Horizon Zero Dawn's new content pack, Frozen Wilds, which is um, out shortly, very shortly, um, and looks awesome if you want to jump back into that game. Uh, it's not normally something that I do, but I know that you've been tempted, haven't you, about this? Yeah, very tempted. I mean, it's more of that game that was really fucking good. It's true. It was <laughs> well, it's this game of the year, obviously. And I uh, feel, if anything, that that could quite easily tempt me away from Destiny 2 at this moment. <laughs> that game is you fantastic, know. and the uh, the idea of having all new quests and an all new environment, all in the snow, sliding around and stuff, um, yeah, uh, I'd be up for that, I think. Probably has yeah. to happen. I think so. The, I mean, it's only like 14 quid or something, isn't it? We should get it, really. I think so. Um, I got so much joy out of... Uh, out of that game and it's been a, a you know a really good amount of time since i played it so yeah um, and that's the thing like, i haven't touched that for god knows how long now and it, it might be quite refreshing to go back to it and be like oh shit yeah actually this game is is really fucking good <laughs> gibbons yeah i think we'll probably end up doing that uh so yeah that's that nearly there uh shadow of the colossus the remaster it looks okay just looks like a remaster um <laughs> Uh, I never played that game, and I'm, I'm interested, but I certainly won't pay more than sort of six, seven quid for it. I don't think. Um, I think it's on PS Now as well. So if you really wanted to give it a go, you could just bump up that trial and, uh, and give it a burn. But looks like a nice remaster nonetheless. Some lovely hair mechanics in there, buddy, or fur mechanics rather. That's tasty. Uh, and then we finished off with exactly what you'd expect us to finish off with: uh, The Last of Us Two. Um, introduced to a selection of new characters and no gameplay. Uh, you can kind of forgive them on that one. 
I think this is probably the exception because it's The Last of Us, because it's such a story-driven, story-based thing. We know what it's basically going to look like, and the story is kind of the, I'd say, the most important thing about The Last of Us, so I can kind of let them off the hook there. Uh, But, yeah, it was an incredibly intense, incredibly graphic, gory, kind of upsetting uh, sort of five, six-minute trailer. Um, And all it served to do was make me incredibly excited to go back into that world again. Rigid in the pants. Hugely so. But um, we will get back to The Last of Us 2 before the end of the show because it's, well, it's caught in controversy in a big way. So, um, Ooh, and I don't know why. <laughs> we'll get back to that later <laughs> on, buddy. So, yeah, that's uh, that's the show. That's the show almost in its entirety. That's our show, Dan. I cu- cut a couple of things that were fucking completely boring as fuck. Oh, but it um, has to be done. Yeah. Um, what do you make of that? I mean, there were some, some releases, like some, some... I think the, the main thing to get, take out of it is there's a couple of new, like, exciting, like ideas that have come out of it like some fresh new like ips or whatever you want to call yeah and, and it was um, it was short that, as that's, well that's what i want like that that's what we've been saying about this whole second half of the year release it is just jam-packed full of yearly franchises or like by yearly franchises or whatever you want to call them games that have already been out before where's my new shit buddy where's where's my horizon you know given that, and that's why that game has stood out so much this year it's been it was just like whoa shit where did you come from kind of thing and there, there's it's yeah everything else is just like yeah cool assassin's creed yeah call of duty destiny 2 fucking everything else battlefront 2 i could go on you know but i won't gibbons mm. full-blown gibbons so yeah, cool. New games coming out. Uh, I think, the, yeah, uh, God of War, Last of Us 2, obviously, when I watch that trailer, if I can be asked. Uh, maybe finish the first one. Be a good idea, wouldn't it? Um, that Yeah, Concrete Genie. That looks really cool. Interesting. Uh, and some steps forward with um, VR as well, I guess you could say. I think so. Maybe. Yeah, there was certainly, <laughs> uh, there was enough there to keep it interesting. And um, yeah. You obviously worry that, you know, you've seen what happened with the Vita. You can't really necessarily trust Sony to fully support something when they bring it out. Yeah, it could just fucking die a horrible, horrible death. But this looks very promising indeed. So that's good. Yeah. So yeah, there you go. That was that. A couple of other bits of news. Firstly, SNES Mini sold 2 million in a month. Yeah, it did. Fucking hell. I mean... Um, Okay. And that you can still pick them up in places every now and again if you, if you keep like a nine on on the stocks and stuff. Yep, you can. Stock Informer is a good website if you're in the UK and looking to get hold yeah. of one of those. Certainly, put pay to me making sort of double my money on it. But uh, also, uh, over the last couple of weeks, it has been cracked. There, there's now a very easy way using a flash drive to uh, crack that thing, so it'll play all ROMs from NES and SNES in glorious high def on yeah. your television with then those controllers. That could be worth a reason to keep it, not that piracy is good, but I'd only put ROMs that I already own. Oh, yeah, yeah, of the, course, buddy, of course. I mean, if, if you want, I can show you my copy of Star Wing, wherever it is somewhere around here. <laughs> I'd, I mean, like, I've, I've got my old SNES right here, buddy. Like, literally, boom, there you go, SNES. It does potentially become the best way, like... Of playing those old games for the, like the cheapest way. If you can pick one of those up for seventy quid, you got those really lovely new molded original SNES controllers and HDMI out and all of the yeah. games on Earth. I, I um, still I've still been looking at that eight bit dough fucking controller, buddy. The the new one that's coming yeah. out in December. I'm like, ah, oh, that looks so good. Oh, the fucking Rob's in the chat. What is that? It's a fucking SNES, mate. Proper SNES. That's what that was. Mate. Yeah, it's none of this uh, the fucking boxed. None of bollocks. this oh, purple bullshit. Know. Whatever that's What's all about. Purple. Namby Pamby. Purple's not a Nintendo color. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, his 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 SNES is faded yellow. Um. Yeah, mine mine is as well. I mean, I, I can't really see it there, but 
The bottom's kind of a bit grayer than the top's fucking... Yeah, it's horrible. It's looked like I've smoked 50 a day next to this thing. Yeah, it's not nice. <laughs> but, yeah. That's a decent... That's, a, that's an on-off switch. You hear that? Yeah. The new that's one's got that as well. You know it's on and off. That's how it's done. It's beautiful. Man. None of this fucking... Not even a button button. <laughs> Gibbons. <laughs> so, yeah, that's uh, that's sold plenty. And uh, they're making more. And uh, it's, it's, it's a lovely little thing. Or... Uh, you hate the way things are going and fuck off with your, you know, classic stuff or whatever, member berries, so on. Um, <laughs> however you feel about it, it's fine. Um, finally from me, buddy, um, the British government has finally returned with a slightly more promising response regarding loot boxes. Uh, the original... Um, th- 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 there was a statement released just from a, a spokesperson just yeah. to tide us over, and it was useless. It basically said nothing of note at all. Uh, but they've come back with this now, um, and it sounds like they are taking things seriously, and it sounds like they are actually uh, make, doing some investigating to see whether sort of Peggy ratings and stuff need to change. So uh, this is a quote from our, our fair government, buddy. Uh, the Video Standards Council, VSC, rating board, is the designated body for classifying video games and applies the Europe-wide PEGI ratings to video games supplied in the UK. The PEGI criteria currently makes provision for games depicting simulations of traditional gambling, and such games would generally attract a minimum PEGI rating of 12. The ratings board is discussing these issues with PEGI, council and its experts group to determine whether changes need to be made to the PEGI criteria with regard to loot boxes. So there you go. They are at least looking into it in this country. Yeah, at least there's some kind of possible route to salvation. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and in terms I of guess. other European governments, no one else is fucking budging on this. So we could be trailblazing here and fair play if we do. Yeah, um, I, I nice. certainly think it needs to be looked at. I certainly think it should have. A, 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 I think it should have a minimum twelve rating, possibly a fifteen rating, um, possibly even higher. I don't know. I think that whatever whatever serves to kill the fucking virus, I'd be happy with that. But um, either way, it's possible progress, despite just being words at this point. So mm, Gibbons. So yeah, there we go, buddy. Uh, that's all my news. Uh, just very quickly answer a question from Rob in the chat. He asked how my rice cooker purchase went. Uh, I don't mm. think I'd mentioned it for ages, actually. Uh, the rice cooker's fucking awesome, by the way. Uh, <laughs> I probably use it once every couple of weeks, something like that. You don't always want that style of rice, um, especially you know if you're doing like a an Indian curry of some description. Then it's possibly not well. <laughs> I'm just kind of, I'm just, I'm like a mouthpiece for the missus at this point. I'd have that rice every fucking time, but she argues that it's, you know, a completely different culture and not always the rice you want every single time. She's wrong. It's the best rice. I live with her and, and so I have to live with her. So uh, (laughs) there we go. But yeah, no, it's fucking brilliant. I'd highly recommend a Paz Kazar rice cookers to uh, anyone who likes rice. Um, I'm a big fan of rice. And if you don't like rice and you try this rice, then you will also like rice. It's the best. <laughs> it's the best thing. It's the best fucking thing. So, yeah. Nice. So, no, so tasty. Just uh, soak your basmati for a bit. You've got to wash all the starch out of that shit, buddy, so it goes nice and puffy when you cook it. And then you just chuck, like, the rice in, some water in, uh, t- turn the dial up for, for maybe 10 minutes or so, and then it... Crank it up to 11. Then it'll ding and be like, yeah, there you go. Um... You got your rice, then you can pop your rice out of there. Put some uh, put some butter in, uh, some saffron. Mix that shit up, put it back in, and then leave it to crust up into a lovely pudding with the burnt bottom, which is actually the best bit, the crunchy bit. Um, fucking awesome! Highly recommended. <laughs> Probably the best seventy five quid I've ever spent in my life. So there we go. Nice, buddy. So that's my news, buddy. Rice and otherwise. I think it's probably time to hand over to you for uh, obviously my favourite section and one that was sorely missed last week, and that is Ash's News Favourite Things of the Week. If you like news but hate information, you have found the right place. Ash's News Favourite Thing of the Week. Cheers, buddy. Yes, we're back. News Favourite Things. 
the place where you get no information, hopefully, apart from unless it's about Destiny 2. <laughs> then you get all the information. Yay! Fuck you. This is my section. <laughs> uh, first of all, buddy, Telltale Games, my favourite of all the games. Um, they're releasing uh, The Walking Dead, like, full version, all the seasons, with graphical upgrades. What? Whoa! No! Shit! No, oh. my... Yeah, so that game will still run really bad, but look a bit better, I guess. They needed to release another version of that game. <laughs> yeah, to keep themselves afloat or something. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, headline here, apparently EA are pushing for more open world games because you can monetize them better. I, you know, says the ex- uh, ex-Bioware dev. I mean, EA are just fucking the best, Blech. aren't they? You see, they've come out and redone the... Uh, they've corrected, maybe, the loot box system in uh, Battlefront 2 now. Oh, really? Yeah, apparently so. I don't know what they've done to it, because I didn't read it, but I saw the headline once again. Well... No no news, but news. Corrected would be to remove it. Well, obviously, redirected. <laughs> Unerected? Yeah. Directed? Directed. Direct- yeah, that's the word. <laughs> that's the one we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> They've directed those uh, loot boxes there. Ah, uh, LA Noir, I hear you say. That game that's coming out on the Switch, which is the most expensive place to buy it on the Switch. <laughs> yep, that's the one. Now just got even more expensive because it doesn't fit on the system memory. You have to buy an SD card if you want to play that game. There you go. Winner. Switch, it's the future. It's the future that costs more. Costs more. Ah, yeah. So, finally, buddies, Destiny 2, there's been big news. Obviously, the Curse of Osiris uh, news came out. There you go. Some news about that coming at you right now. Increase of uh, power level. 330. Okay. What do you do? Yeah. So, they're increasing the power level to 330, which is 25 more than what it is now. Uh, They're increasing the level to 25, which is 5 more than what it is now. Um, they came out and spoke um, a lot about the seasons because seasons is a thing that everyone does now, yep. apparently. Yep. Um, just in normal life, there's four seasons. Uh, as in uh, Destiny, there are four seasons in a year now, apparently. Yep. Games as a um, service, there it is. Games as a service, they do the thing. Um, there isn't going to be a Halloween thing, which you know normally they do. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. But there is going to be the dawning that's coming a little seasonal event around Christmas time bringing ice hockey to the tower or the traveler whatever you want to call it okay new new dawning armor and shit like that they've uh, obviously everyone was uh, not happy with the faction rally and all the fucking tokens and also with iron banner uh the tokens and that it's just to fucking collect tokens hand them in see what you get is a bit shit so they've been looking at that apparently uh redoing it um Next season's Iron Banner, there's going to be uh, like new armor and new like trinkets and things to get, which I'm very excited about because I'm a dickhead. <laughs> um, yeah, mate, I'm all about it. I can't help it. What, what are you going to do about it? I just, you know, I gotta, gotta get it. Gotta catch them all. Fucking Pokemon and shit in it. Fair enough. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, there was more stuff, but I can't remember. Osiris in it, Mercury, wicked. Can't wait. Let's play that game. I was expecting, um, I only saw that shit trailer, but um, it just looked like, uh, what's the, it looked like one of the existing worlds already, if it was. Io, I guess. Uh, It is, well, the thing with uh, Osiris, like, he was a warlock, and he was heavily into, like, Vex technology, um, yeah. So that's why the, I'm guessing Mercury is heavily Vex orientated. Uh, apparently, there's going to be like a new type of like Super Vex or something like that, possibly uh, in this. So we get might see some kind of new enemy type, kind of like the Taken. I guess it's kind of like a morphed version or something like that, which that's is like which is my cool. favorite thing they've ever done was bring the Taken in. Yeah, man, they were cool. Even though it was the same but different, it was, yeah, was yeah, like, exactly. that's cool, it's excellent. Um, so yeah, there's going to be a. New Crucible map, because fucking Crucible's the best. Yes. Yep. Love that shit. And, um, oh, another thing is, like, seasonal content means uh, 
um like emotes and stuff like that that are in the uh what's her name i can't remember eververse is it the the eververse market oh yeah whatever. claudia black the bright, gaff. yep the yeah. the the um yeah they're they're fucking they're there for that season and then they're, they're gone and they will get replaced with new ones the next season so I, I don't know how i feel about that to be honest i couldn't give a shit because it's all cosmetic and i don't care um but you know people that are collectionists you know it, it might possibly force them to buy bright engrams. I don't know. But luckily, I might be a retard for playing this game way too much, but I'm not that much of a retard to buy shit like that. Yeah, um, I mean, the 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 bright engram stuff has been kind of foreboding at this point. Like, mm. all the shader stuff uh, yep. hasn't come into play in terms of fucking you over yet. Um, no. If it's going to, then it'll be in these DLC packs, and um, we'll yeah, just have probably. to keep an eye. We'll, we'll see what happens, but um, they, they're bringing in new ghosts, like rounded ghosts, buddy. Ooh. I know, fancy Dan ghosts. Uh, new sparrows. Ooh. Ones that look like sharks or something. And, like, new ships that look really cool, but are totally pointless because you only see them in cutscenes, not cutscenes, in loading menus. The loading menus. loading screens, yeah. which is fucking awesome. Yep. In no way at all. <laughs> Well, yeah, lots to get our teeth skimming into. Skimming through and this article just in case there's new story missions this, and stuff. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's going to be like a new story campaign kind of thing. Cool. Um, of, uh, yeah. So the the uh, obviously Osiris, we uh, the whole point of that trailer was like, do we know if he's good or bad? You know, he is a guardian of the light, but because he's been off, uh, I'm going to say having sex with the Vex. Yeah, I reckon that he's been Vex he's doing sex. That. He's been tainted Vex, by it. Ve- yeah, he's been doing the Vex sex. Yeah. Um, he, yeah, I, he might be, he be might be swayed in that way, shape or form. Now might be swayed, helping us. Yeah, yeah, but fucking his armor looks well cool. I want it. He looks cheeky. He looks like a a Native American chap. Yeah, I've I've stepped up my um, pursue of collecting stuff as well. I found a, a website, DestinySets.com. It tracks all the shit you've collected. I'm like, cool. This is what I need. I need a checkbox so I can go and. Get stuff. Okay. It's yeah. I don't know, mate. I, I can't help myself. I want to go fine. and get it. I know. But there you go. But then again, when you were when we were playing GT uh, Gran Turismo, you were like, "Yeah, this is like my destiny. I can collect all the cars." Yeah. It's, <laughs> uh, it did have some uh, some collecty stuff about it. And those medals as well, like a mobile game where you've got the yeah, bronze, totally. silver, and gold. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but we're all cunts at the end of the day, buddy. We're oh, all... Of course we are. It's Massive just the way it is, and, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Exactly, me neither, buddy. So yeah, there you go. There's there's some destiny news that you could you fucking disregard. Lovely stuff, buddy. I look forward <laughs> to delving back into that game for a couple of weeks and then forgetting about it for another couple of months. Yeah, man, that's the way to do it. Oosh. Well, thank you very much, buddy. If if that's all, then uh, that was your that news. Is all. Yeah, sorry, I was drinking. That was my news as well. Yes. And uh, that was the news. Oh, fuck me. Where are we now? One hour 30 something. Flying let's, through. Let's, let's crack on. It's going well. And now it's time for Out This Week. That's out this week. It certainly is, buddy. And we've got uh, Games for Gold and newly confirmed <sighs> PS Plus as well, which was leaked. Snuck in there. Leaked, it was early leaked doors a little bit. And has now been confirmed. So, confirmatored. Games for Gold, your Xbox One games are Trackmania Turbo and Tales Great from game. the Borderlands, the complete season. Bad game. Okay game. I, I mean, who cares about that game? But yeah. Trackmania Turbo, great game. Yeah. It's good. It's good shit. Great game. Uh, Great game. And 360, you've got Nights into Dreams, which is very old, but fine. Uh, and Deadfall, um, and those are backwards compatible as well. Uh, not a cool. bad, not a bad month. Uh, Trackmania, the highlight there. Obviously, that game is obscenely cheap though at this point. Yeah, so. I know that's the thing. Like you, you look at it for value for money. Not great, but if you haven't got Trackmania Turbo, definitely get it. It's a good game. It's a great game. Uh, great game. PS. Plus is, um, there's a random fucking list here, so I'm just going to read them all out and then make of it what you will. Okay. Um, Worms Battlegrounds on PS4. Uh, Bound on PS4 and PSVR. Uh, Until Dawn Rush of Blood, PS Plus bonus, PSVR required. 
That's you, buddy. PS Plus bonus PlayLink game. R-Type Dimensions, PS3. Ragdoll Kung Fu Fists of Plastic, PS3. <laughs> Dungeon Punks, PS Vita and PS4. And Broken Sword 5, The Serpent's Curse, Episodes 1 and 2, for the PS Vita. Hard to unpick all of that. Um, Worms Battlegrounds, yeah, cool. I'm up yeah, for that. Yeah, I guess, I mean, yeah, I'll play it once. It's the one with the vehicles and stuff, isn't it? And oh, the is new it? art I, style. I don't remember. It, I played it at Rezzed, it, it obviously was Worms, but, uh, eh, I like Worms for a week or so, not, yeah, not exactly. the illness, obviously. Um, well, obviously you don't want Worms. No, preferably not, but, uh, yeah, Coming so there's that. Bound whatever. is that, uh, dancey woman. The artsy one, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing that, that's gonna be fun. Yeah, give that a go. Or not, who knows. But I, I born in, we're like we were interested in that when it when it was coming out. It's true. And, yeah, it's true. It's um, cool. Until Dawn, Rush of Blood is the uh, fairground attraction. Until Dawn, uh, shooting gallery game. Uh, which I mean, I'll stick it in my library, but I'm not fussed. Yep, yeah, uh, because I haven't got VR. And if I did have VR, I probably would have played that game by now. Uh, I would have thought so. Uh, R-type Dimensions uh, is yeah. Shooty, shooty, bang, bang. Yeah, I was going to say, is it a side-scrolling shooter or something? It is a side-scrolling shooter. Um, Ragdoll Kung Fu Fists of Plastic. I have to confess. That sounds... I have not looked that up. That sounds fantastic. I think, I mean, I'm I'm watching you copy and paste this. (laughs) I think I'm going to do the same. I haven't looked at it. Uh, We can get a... uh, Skips to 27 seconds. Okay. 15 Um, seconds. Okay, what the... Fuck is this? Uh, Smash Brothers. Yeah, Smash Brothers, but Ragdoll. Yep, Ragdoll Smash Brothers. Fine. Yeah, okay, cool. It looks like you've got control of the arms with the analog sticks and stuff. Looks weird. Uh, so, um, what's that other multiplayer one where they like swing the arms around and shit? Uh, the plasticine people. Uh, Gang Beasts. Gang Beasts, yeah. So it could control a bit like that on like a 2D platform, I guess, instead of 3D. I don't know. Maybe, yeah, who knows. Like anyway, on. I'm never going to play this game because I haven't got PS3. <laughs> who cares? Uh, Dungeon Punk's 2D side-scrolling hack and slash game. Um, and Broken Sword 5, obviously, like a sort of point-and-clicky style adventure. Why are we not getting the PS4 version of that? This is a game that I've contemplated buying several times because I love a good point point-and-click adventure. Why is it only PS Vita? I'm pissed off with that. I'm not happy. Um, Obviously, you can't answer that question. I'm just... Venting. No, I can't, but uh, <laughs> I, I don't know why. I, you, I, I do find it a little odd. That um, would be a bit of a highlight if that was a PS4 or a Yeah, because that, that is a game that, like I said, I've, I've contemplated buying several times. That and the Agatha Christie, like, 123 Murders or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, don't ask me why. No, fair enough. Um, No, I don't know why, and it is annoying. Uh, Mm. (laughs) But there we are. That's the way it is. Um, Cool, yeah, Bound, great, sure. Bat Worms, sure. Uh, VR game. I feel like they're kind of trying to boggle our minds with the the volume of releases so that we don't don't notice that all of them are probably cack. But uh, we'll give them a go anyway. Fuck it. Yeah. A couple of BHs. Why not? Why not? Indeed. So what actually is coming out this week, buddy? Uh, also out this week, we have Sonic Forces on PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC. Um, I presume that will be terrible, like every other Sonic game that wasn't just a rehash of the originals. Um, uh, it looks more what? bullshit. It just looks like Sonic Adventure with the, but like you know it, how that game's been for years with the terrible dialogue and awful fucking levels that no one wants to play, all of that sort of thing. Um, I would imagine this will be shit. Frankly, uh, I wish it wouldn't be, but I think it will be. This looks ball bags. Terrible bullshit. Uh, not terrible bullshit. Super Lucky's Tale, which you might remember from E3. Yes, um, I do. Looks fantastic and is out this week on Xbox One and PC. So possibly another 
another PC like purchase Spyro. for old Ash yeah, there. Yeah, possibly. Who knows if I... Yeah, maybe not. Looks Who really knows? nice. Really, yeah, really nice. It, it, yeah, and that's the thing. It looks like a really nice platformer. It's one of, one of them games that, you know, you could just quite happily get stuck into. Worth noting as well that... Uh, there have been some amazing deals on Steam Link of late. Uh, I saw it at one place for a pound the other day. Wow. Yeah. It was like a pound if you bought a game for seven ninety nine or something. Oh, yes, I did. Yeah, I saw that deal, um, actually. Yeah. So, yeah, if you are a PC gamer who wants to take to the couch and haven't necessarily mm. got that set up, then... Uh, Possibly worth looking into that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm still I'm quite tempted to pick up like an Xbox One controller at some point. Yeah, I'm t- uh, quite tempted to pick up an Xbox ones, One. Uh, uh, wow, yeah, that as well. If they drop down 100 quid Black 100, Friday. 100 quid Black Friday and I'm in. Yeah, mate, I'll do that. I'll do that with you. I love it. Uh, talking about Xbox One. Talking about the Xbox One, this week the Xbox One X launches officially. Uh, mm. No games, of course. Uh, Obviously. Lots of um, optimization for existing games. Uh, one of the big ones, Gears of War 4 campaign being 60 frames rather than 30. Uh, and if they that's do nice. stuff like that with a lot of games, that's, then yeah, that's, that's great. Want. Still yeah. don't think it's got the, the punch that it, it needs. No, exactly. Um, Rob in the chat, he'd, uh, he was on about, he, he asked us uh, if we're going to get them because... Uh, he uh, had a, uh, what did he say? It was a, a three check month or <laughs> something. Uh, and he's uh, he's got some disposable income, so he's he's contemplating getting one. So. If you do, buddy, let us know how it is. Obviously, yeah, I um, <sighs> I wouldn't be willing to spend that kind of cash until I had a television in place that would utilize it. Well, yeah, that's the thing. That's, that's what I I would um, and I would need. It's 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 the four K TV. That's thing. on my Black Friday checklist at this point. Is the telly? I need to get the telly in place before I make my next move, so yeah, to speak. Totally. Uh, but um, <laughs> I, there's a lot of questions. How long will the gen be? Uh, how much? You look at the way that Pro hasn't had the um, support that it deserves. And there's still stuff coming out like. Um, Metal Gear Solid 5 just got a PS4 Pro patch yeah, like this week. They're slowly getting is... there. It's been trickling out. Yeah, so I, I don't know. <gasps> I, I, meh. It is what it is, isn't it? Fuck it. Hard to know. <laughs> I, I think, like, like, the PS4 or PS5 will be coming out in a couple of years, so it's probably just a case of waiting for That's that. That's the question, is when, when honest, does the next thing come the out? The next one. Uh, if you've and got a library of PlayStation titles, for, yeah, exactly. and you That's wait what I was two years to say. and you get a console with fucking ten teraflops or whatever. Yeah, is it, obviously it's going to shit all over the Xbox Then you're better X, off with a telly, you're better off with... Um, Maybe just a standard Xbox One, so you can just play all of these yeah, backwards so you can get around to the, and Yeah, and that's the thing. Pound sign, skate three, hashtag pound sign. <laughs> Gibbons. So, yeah, uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I don't know if they're doing a conference or anything like that. I don't think they are. Um, no, I, they've sent loads of them out to like, everyone yeah. trying to, like on YouTube and stuff like that, trying to get everyone to be like, yeah, Xbox One X. and Oh, the taste yeah, makers. Yeah. yeah, of course, buddy. Yes, there they are. Yeah. Me. No. Well, either way, that's out this week. <laughs> also, out this week, we have Need for Speed Payback on the PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Not sure we need another racing game. Certainly not a shit one. Oh, it could be good, though. It could be good. We've said that about <laughs> the last four. <laughs> Uh, uh, I want it to be good. I want that stupid arcade car racing game. It looks um hell of a lot like Rivals. Yeah, I know. Hell of a lot. I, I, I'm looking. I'm. I'm not looking for. I'm interested in how it's going to review and watching some gameplay of this. Seven out of ten. It'll be. Yeah. It'll, yeah. And that therefore shit. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's out this week, and we'll and see. And it'll only get seven out of ten, like because of the graphics or yeah, something yeah. like that, it, 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 like car handling and stuff. The guy, I watched uh, an interview from E3 with uh, with the one of the devs and uh, one, well, one of the team, uh, mm. and he seemed he seemed well out of the fucking, literally well out of his box, like proper, <laughs> just proper, completely out of touch. And he was like, you know, uh, we watched like the Fast and the Furious films, and we've made that game. <laughs> and the guy's like, "Yeah, brilliant." But isn't you can't do that because uh, 
what's the call it? Making slightly it mad or working yeah, slightly on a, mad. an actual an actual yeah. fuzzy. Ah, yeah. So maybe but it's just it's them. just the way that they speak is it feels so like. 2003 to me like the way that they're like oh it's gonna be it's gonna be dope it's gonna be so awesome like it's gonna be like they're basically it's gonna be whack they're talking like they're making Need for Speed <laughs> Underground the first time and no one's ever seen anything like that before and we fucking have we had that they were great games they were much better <laughs> than your ones and and that's the way it is but uh, yeah these f- fucking three characters as well we got these characters the showman the the, the like just just whatever like <laughs> the slag yeah the, 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 the right bastard yeah yeah um either the way there we go <laughs> uh, I, I i'm i am absolutely convinced that that game will be fucking dog shit um and i, I I can't. I can't think of a forfeit. I'll apologise profusely if if, if, <laughs> that's if that's a good that's game. That's not a forfeit. You tell me. It should be like you buy the game when it goes on sale. Obviously, <laughs> I'm not fucking that stupid. Well, I do need another racing game, buddy. So yeah. Indeed. If, indeed. if that thing reviews eight, if that thing reviews nines, <laughs> then I'll it was, buy it. It started with eight. And is that no, 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 no. nines? Because it could nines. review eight. Yeah, it could get eight. Yeah. Nines. If it's nines, <laughs> if it's nines. Yeah, yeah. Then we'll get it in the sale. If- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've really gone to town there. Yeah, the peril. Well um, nice. Also out this week, Hand of okay. Fate Two on the PC, PS4, and Xbox One. This is a card game. The first one looked very interesting, but was single player um, and had no options to play with friends or anything like that. So never really took that much heed on it of it. But um, it reviewed well, and people really liked it. Um, I haven't really actually done any research on this at all, which is entirely unprofessional. Uh, if this were my job, which it isn't. But um, yeah, Hand of Fate 2. Multiplayer? Does it have it? Question mark. Doesn't look like it. No, fine. Cool. Great. Definitely not. Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, Hitman Game of the Year edition is out this week on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. I don't normally include Game of the Year editions, but it's fucking Hitman, so I did. It's got additional shit. They're um they're doing new thingies, aren't they? New, new missions. Um, I think there's just new, new the, campaign, new targets. Yeah, they, yeah, new targets, new campaigny thing, and also the if you missed any of the elusive targets, uh, you can do them as That's well. That's what I was reaching for, which is uh, really nice. Uh, apparently, there's those are like graphical upgrades and stuff like that. Um, so I don't know if that's going to go to the base game. You think it would, like the graphical upgrades would go to. the You'd base hope game, so. It'd be really weird if know. they didn't. But um, yeah, so um, it's it's the the game of the year edition. It gets everything plus this new stuff. But uh, if you already own the game, you can just buy the new stuff as DLC. Um, if if you want to do some more hitmaning, which is quite tempting, always tempting, um, very much so. As it's been quite a while since I've hitmaned. It's true. Classic hitman. Game uh, of the year last year, mate. Game of the year. Yeah. Speaking of game of the year, Horizon Zero Dawn, <laughs> uh, The nice. Frozen Wilds. Uh, yeah. This is the the new expansion for Horizon Zero Dawn that we probably will end up buying. Um, I think so. so. We'll talk about that when we we've played discuss. it. But it uh, yeah. looks great from the trailers. Um, Killing close. Floor Incursion is out this week on The Vive. Cool. Uh, Football Manager, <laughs> Football Manager 2018 uh, arrives on PC, and uh, Doom arrives this week on the Switch on the 10th of November. Best place to play Doom. Best place to play Doom. There you go. Switch. So yeah, bumper, big old bumper, um, and that is out this week, buddy. There it is. That's out this week. And now it's time for Fuckwit Corner. Fuckwit Corner with Funk. Fuckwit Corner with Funk. He's getting some questions. With Funk. Funk. Has he got any questions? He's got three questions. Trifecta, the triathlon, the triwizard cup, Harry Potter, 
bringing it back. What's he got? Uh, firstly, he says, "How long until we get Battlegrounds on PS4?" Oh, okay. I was going to say, if he didn't say PS4, I was going to be like, well, when we buy an Xbox One, buddy. The or Xbox PC. One version launches on the 12th of December. Ooh, so 13th? 14th? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, be. there is no confirmation. Um, that it's even coming to no, PS4, yeah. Uh, but I, if I was a betting man... Oh, Okay then I would say that will arrive just before the summer drought next year. Sort of. I'm going for end of March. You're going earlier than me. Uh, mm. I, I'm going, I'll go June. Okay. It'll be, Bet's on. It'll be next year. Make won't no... be this year. <laughs> no, it won't be this year. So that's that one. Uh, next, Funk says, whatever happened to the PS4 camera? Just a launch gimmick, was it? Uh, what happened was they repurposed it for VR so that they didn't need to find a real reason for it to exist <laughs> other than VR. Yeah, yeah. Um, and log in, in with your face. Yeah, my one. Uh, all my one serves to do is uh, log the misses in every time she picks mm. up the controller to pass it to me when we turn on the console because it sees her <laughs> face, her holding the controller, signs in as her, and then we have to sign out of her account <laughs> and back into my account. That's all it does. That's what you want. That's what it does. Oh, Rob in the chat goes for February, by the way, there. He's gone February, mm. fair play. He's gone February, early doors. I like it, see, optimistic. See, people are still talking about this deal that Microsoft is striking to have it sort of delayed. I just, I don't know. I mean... Firstly, I think that's kind It'll of... It'll be, be a fucking hell of a lot well, of money to delay that. It's just an embarrassment, though, isn't it, as well? Of course it is. Of course it is. Is that, really, is that really where you want to spend your money? Preventing a game from coming out for three or four months on a neighbouring Yes, platform? because it'll make them more money. <sighs> well, maybe. Maybe. They are a business. Is it? Is it the case that console gamers are going to go buck wild for PUBG. Uh, is, uh, are all console gamers aware of, of this game and, and they're the desperate to play it? I guess so. I don't know. I guess so. Maybe. Well, either way. Um, he's gone Feb. You've gone March. I've got I've got June. There we are. Um, yeah, so the camera doesn't do fuck all. Uh, a few people uh, used it as a like chatterbait cam to have sex on it for the first few weeks until their accounts yeah, were that banned. Was good times. That, was that was nice. Good fun at launch. Um, since then, yeah, basically it's used as the main primary form of sensor um, for the PSVR and nothing else. There you go. So there we go. Um, and finally, Funk says, how long until they make a Stranger Things game? You know, the, the company to do this, buddy, would be uh, Telltale, I think. It would be... Uh, there's already a Stranger Things game, buddy. Is there? Yeah, it's out on Android, maybe iOS. That doesn't count, buddy. It's there though. Proper game. A pro- a, it's, a- it's called Stranger Things: Colon the Game. I'm, I want. I'm talking PS4. Uh, I have never seen Stranger Things. Oh, you should watch it. It's good. You watched the first season, didn't you? The second one's I just. I have. I'm going to watch started. the second one soon. Yes. Yeah. Would you, would you uh, like a proper the, game? And if so, what no, sort of game? No, because it's going to be a scary game. So fuck that, buddy. <laughs> I'm not cool with that. What sort of game would it be? Would it be a, well, a first-person shooter or a third-person game? Like, I'd, I'd probably go for like third-person, kind of evil within kind of thing, I reckon, I guess. I don't know. Co-op? But there's lots of shenanigans that happen in it, see? I, th- I think it. I don't think it would make a good game. Hmm. I, I can't really. It might make a good game, like uh, like an FMV game. Yay! Like these, pl- like this PlayLink thing, Erica. <laughs> yeah, possibly. Yeah, I don't think that works when you're when it's based on a TV show. No, I know, but I I just can't. I can't see the this franchise kind of being a game in a way because that like, there's not any fighting or anything there's a bit of like mind power i guess like mind bullets it's telepathy but i oh, know it's telekinesis not to te- oh, is that the same thing who knows yeah oh 
I've just blown my own mind. <laughs> well, it sounds like a taxing one. Uh, mm. I won't comment. I ain't got a fucking clue. But, but, but this Android game looks fucking terrible. Um, so uh, someone else can play that, not me. <laughs> Fair enough. So yeah, there you go. Uh, we don't know when Battlegrounds is coming out. The camera's useless, and we don't think they'll make a Stranger Things game on the consoles. So uh, cheers, no. cheers, fuck. Sorry. <laughs> Showing our true colours there is utterly fucking useless. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, thank you very much, Funk. Every week we end the show with questions and comments sent in by you. If you've got anything for us, just pop an email to the jfgpodcast at gmail.com or contact us on Facebook, Twitter or at justforgamers.co.uk. Now it's time for JFG Street Beat. You got a question we want to know. Facebook, Twitter, we're on a mall. So hit us up and be on the show. The JFG Street Beat. Mm, Street Beat. We want to know. Get on the show. Uh. Get on the show. And a lot of people have got on the show, buddy. Oh. Fucking the show is ram packed. Ram packed? That's right, ram packed. It's ram packed. It's ram packed mm. with people who've got on the show. And uh, a lot of that's to do with the fact that I didn't do a street beat last week. Well, that will happen. But also. So come on then. Oh, God. also. We've got a lot of shit here, buddy. It's good stuff. Well, yeah, there's loads of shit. <clears throat> Let's get the ball rolling, shall we? Uh, f- Let's go. Firstly, we have a question on Facebook. Facebook. Uh, from Sam. This is his first question to us, buddy. Are you excited? I'm fuck it, I'm ready. The situation is in hand. Uh, this is Sam. I'll plug his podcast as well, because he's actually um he's actually liked and shared some of our shit before in the past. So uh, this Ooh. is Sam from the Thinking Out Loud podcast, which has been running for some time. It's a friend that I met when I was at uni, buddy, in Bath, and he's been listening to the nice. show for a bit. And he has this question for us. He says, question for the lads. Um, Tips on whether or not you can customise cars in the upcoming Gran Turismo. He said this a couple of weeks ago, obviously. Um, I've heard you can't because the car manufacturers are pissed about people changing their cars. Nah. If that's the case, which racing games offer that feature to the extent it was included in the early Gran Turismos? Mm. This is a great question, and also baffling as to why these games have just completely died out. I do think it has a bit to do with the whole uh, manufacturers getting fucking pissy about their vehicles. Um, yeah. people. There was always the old GT thing where they didn't want it to be depicted uh, smashed up. <laughs> Um, and now we've got to the stage yeah. where they don't want it to be depicted anything other than the sort of uh, anesthetized don't fucking draw version. Cock and balls. On yeah, the side of our like customization is, is like not quite there as much. I think upgrades as well. Obviously, that was that was the big thing about Gran Turismo was that you could kind of put parts on there and stuff. And yeah, there were loads of and old uh, games that did that and stuff. Yeah, and if, like Sega GT did that back in the Dreamcast days. Um, so at that this was always point, fun, though. It was great, and uh, it's. I think it's the thing that Forza does best is that sort of upgrade stuff. Um, the the fact that you can s- sort of strap parts onto the car, improve it, make it faster, take a stupid little hot hatch and make it like a super class car. Yeah, that was that was <laughs> that's great stuff. Um, and at this point, there's a real shortage of games that let you do that. Um, Need for Speed Payback. It come on, it, does it? it does let yes. You, it not That's only a nine, not only, nine out of ten game. Not only does it let you <laughs> paint the cars and so on, but it also lets you fit literally parts to it. And you can also <gasps> buy like Customized. old jalopies, like old bangers, and then oh, work man. to uh, get them back up to their original like stock beauty. Like take oh old, old Beatles and old shit like that, and um, fucking sign me which up. Which sounds great, unless oh, it does. unless the game is shit don't, and the cars drive don't, shit. Don't kill which the dream. Is entirely don't. plausible. No, <laughs> but yeah, uh, Need for Speed Payback. Oh. It does it. It does. Um, the crew. Oh. The crew had yep. it. Had it. 
Uh, but the new one is focusing on lost multi-vehicle, uh, and they've announced fuck all about upgrades, and I believe that they would have said something about it if it was in there by this point. Yeah, you would have think so. It would have been a feature, yeah. or like, even like a two-second clip of like someone upgrading exactly. something. It doesn't seem to be oh, there. So the speed, mate. Yeah, all them wheels and... Ah, oh, it's gonna be good. Don't think I don't think that uh, that that's gonna be there. But yeah, the crew, the original crew had. I it. think I should just pick up the old shit Need for Speed for like five quid, and I'd be. I think I'd be happy with it, even though it's a shit game. There's no it's wheel support, like mate. Well, it's a shit racing game. You wouldn't play it with a wheel. I would. <laughs> I wonder if the new <laughs> yeah. one does. I mean, we did play Farming Simulator 15 with a steering. Yeah, I'll play wheel. anything with a wheel. I mean, Fucking <laughs> Tomb Raider. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, don't know about the crew, too. Forza Horizon has upgrades. Obviously, the Mac Daddy of all of this is Forza. That's the one. Yeah. If you've got options of different platforms at this point uh, and you're looking for a game that lets you upgrade your cars and so on, uh, then. It's, yeah, in a, in a sim simulation. Then it, it's Forza. As well. But I have heard yeah. some, some, some worrying things about the latest version of Forza where they've changed the class system so that what? if you upgrade your cars through different classes, it doesn't necessarily let you use them in the next class up. I think something to do with That's the fact that people were taking dumb. like a specific vehicle uh, in like online races and souping it up so that it was completely unrivaled. So they've made changes yeah. there. Uh, I, if if I if I was doing this right now, I'd buy like, what fours are we on? Are we on six or seven? Seven. I'd buy five. I'd buy fours of five. That's what I'd do if you wanted to do this right now. Uh, because six had some horrible microtransaction bullshit in it, uh, but five was the launch title, and it had all of those cars, and they were all upgradable with the classic Forza systems. Uh, and it's worth noting that I've I still play Forza three on a semi regular basis on my three hundred and sixty, and it's got all that shit in there, and I love it. So I think I would go for GTA five. It's got plenty in GTA five. <laughs> it's true. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it, <laughs> no wheel support though, buddy. The whole upgrade thing is a, is a feature that it feels like it's almost dying out, which is a bit of a worry. Yeah, I hadn't even thought about it to be honest, but now that's all I can think about in racing games. I'm like, yeah, I missed that. That was like the whole point of like a career kind of thing on Forza when like, we could come online with our stupid car cars, better. like the, oh, we put mate, all of our fins the, on. The and, oh, it's so funny! It's fucking brilliant. The car modding scene in that game was so good. Yeah. Like, you'd look at it and be like, no, that's a fucking picture. And then, like, you'd be like, oh, no, they've actually made that from millions and millions of little fucking things put together. It's like, that's... I couldn't imagine how long that fucking took. That was amazing. It was. Yeah, man. Yeah. Such a powerful tool. Yeah. It's good shit. So, yeah. Uh, thanks very much for your question. Uh, hopefully that was vaguely helpful. Um, what else? I think we've had a. Uh, uh, hey, do you, uh, check, have you seen take this? it away, buddy? Take it away. I, I know how happy you are. Your little face uh, beaming. People have been on the website. That website, just in case if you didn't know, is uh, www.thejfgpodcast.co.uk. And uh, there's a cheeky section for Street Beat there now, where these questions will live on forever or until we don't pay our hosting fees. Which, you know, could happen at any time. Could happen at any moment, but, uh, <laughs> but probably won't. Uh, so, yeah, we've got uh, JJ kicked us off on, on Street Beat. Says, hey, buddies. This is actually a pretty cool pop-up. Oh, there you go, buddy. That's a compliment yeah. for me. Listening on the PC while I play some video games, I have to say, after sinking so many hours into... Oh, and cash, sorry, not just hours, into Warframe. I'd rather see most games learn how to free-to-play than these fucking loot boxes. Uh, I think I read that wrong. No, no you're spot on. There you go. Oh, nailed it. Yeah. Did, I just said it like a retard, Looking damn I guess. right. Like, you know, it's... We thought Orcs had it right. It didn't, but... No. Um, but, yeah, I have downloaded Warframe on the console and uh, I haven't played it again yet, but... Yeah, it sounds like Warframe's got a, a currency that could be considered sort of fair. The fact that it's free to play anyway means that that's fair enough kind of thing. Rather than this loot box bullshit. I have to agree, really. Loot box bullshit. Yep. 
It's all right, buddies. The British government's on the case, so uh, well that's gonna be amazing then. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, another little quick update for the website. I've been I've been working on it. I haven't uh, updated it live at the moment, but I've been adding uh, a download button uh, for uh, the uh, podcast on there as well. Oh, nice. Um, and um, the archiving system should look a lot nicer when uh, I upload it as well. And there was something else I'd done as well. Oh, uh, I made the um, the audio player at the top um, as um, like a, a pop-up thing. So um, as you scroll down, it'll disappear. Uh, and what you used to have to do is scroll back to the top of the page, whereas now you can just click a button and it will just pop up again. Um, so just user-friendly interfacing. Mm. Fucking tasty, no. buddy. That's beautiful yeah. news. I mean, it, yeah, I'll... Um, I'll let everyone know when that all goes live, um, when I get around to doing it. But yeah, uh, still updating the website, you know, things that I do on a daily basis. Yeah, has anyone else been on the website there, buddy? Well, Mel, I'm guessing it's Mel Gibson, so uh, it was just under Mel. He's been on there, I don't know what this is referencing to, but he goes, hashtag me too. And there you go, he's on, he's on Street Beat right there. It's on Street Beat. I don't know if he's referencing the listening of the podcast on the website yeah. or not. Uh, could be anything. Maybe he's sunk hours in cash into Warframe. <laughs> could, could, be. could well be. Could well yeah. be. No, I think it, ma- it could be from co- some comment. I think from maybe previous podcast. maybe he'd like to see free to play, free to play games, free to play, free to play, free to play. Yeah, free Please to play. give us your money. Please. Please. <laughs> <laughs> So I uh, just want to say a massive thank you to you guys for getting the ball rolling and Street Beat on the website, the jfgpodcast.uk uh, forward slash street dash beat. If you want to go there, uh, fucking fill your boots, son. Get stuck in and you'll be on the show like like mm. Mel was and JJ. Fucking sweet as the punch. Um, we've had a question in the chat as well. Who's this one from, buddy? In the chat, well, oh, this is from Rob in the chat. Um, this was quite a while ago, uh, and he says, "Hey, you fellas, seen that? Uh, what's that word? Spin tires? Spin tires? Mud runner? Oh, spin tires? I have mud, seen mud spin runners. tires. Yes, mud runner game on the PS Store. I thought uh, I I watched the trailer after he said it, and I thought we need to mention this game and what it is and." What do you think of uh, Spin Tires Mud Runner, buddy? I think it looks like an interesting physics-based game. It came out several years ago now on um, Steam. In, mm-hmm. in early alpha, I became aware of it by watching, I think, the Yogscast play it on their like Trucking Tuesdays thing that they were doing yeah. a couple of years ago now. Um, and it's kind of the, the, the bread and butter here is the fact that this is a physics-based sort of uh, mud and dirt simulator really you've got these different uh like vans and trucks and lorries um and you've got to kind of work your way through the environment maybe making deliveries and that sort of thing um but on these it's just incredibly realistic the way that you kind of get stuck in the mud and it leaves trails and everything it's quite impressive um a little bit of controversy about the fact that this was released kind of early access uh, and then they basically released like a whole new version of it and charged all over again. Um, but I think, to be honest, the original Alpha had so much content in it that, that most of the fans were actually quite happy with that. Um, but yeah, that's that's basically what I know about it. It looks pretty fun. Uh, Fucking, quite, you know a lot more about it than me because I was like, this game looks crazy shit. <laughs> Mud is everywhere. You're driving around. You got to pull some cars out of a lake. I'm like, there's some logging involved. I'm like, this looks great. It's one of those. This looks like the best things out of farming sim. Yeah, it's one of those so, niche games. Farming uh, sim lacking farming. Kind I'm of like, I mean, gather traction, like uh, <laughs> gather traction, so to speak. But oh, little inside, I know. Yeah, like nice. like the sort of Euro Truck Simulator type games where they've got this sort of niche audience. Um, but it it does look quite fun, and you can't can't knock the physics engine. Like seeing it in action, the way that all the kind of the the tire tracks kind of fall into the mud and everything. It, it's quite impressive. Um, I haven't seen any reviews of it since it came to console, but uh, certainly worth looking into. Okay, uh, I've just been updated. Hashtag me too is uh, uh, this is just because I am not a social person uh, person person on the internet and don't use anything. It's uh, the 
the movement about the old uh, sexual assault and harassment causes. So on Twitter when everyone... Oh, God. <laughs> So there you go. I didn't spot that either because I, yeah, no. I, I hardly go on Twitter yeah. at all. And uh, oh well, I'm 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 sorry to hear there that, Mel. That's yeah. that's harrowing well, to know. It. I mean, <laughs> if you need an outlet, feel free to use Street Beat to uh, you know, yeah, go <laughs> go to town. Put that onto the <laughs> relevant authorities. Um, yeah, God. Well, that's took a turn. <laughs> yeah, I know. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you very much. Uh, Thank you very much. Uh, seems like as good a time as any to mention that we uh, just got a new new follower on Twitch, buddy. Oh, fuck the bed. <laughs> fuck, the, <laughs> fuck the bed hard and fast. Uh, hey, how did you know? I did not know I this. got an email. You got an email? Yeah. Who was it? It's Yadwinder Singh is now following oh. us. Welcome to He's the party. He's been busy pal. in the chat this uh, this evening as well. Actually, I've been been chatting away to Beautiful. him. Beautiful. We got we got the old JFG Ash there monitoring multiple chat windows at three once. Three chat, three chats. It, oh my god! It's a th- JJ's in mixer now, and I'm full on three chat oh, mode now. Some sort of it's a it's uh, a three man it's a it's three man chat. It's the try with five man Beckham, mate. It's a five man <laughs> Beckham. <laughs> Oh, dear. Speaking of JJ, buddy, let's. Uh, Speaking of JJ, here he let's is. Let's get yeah. to this one, uh, and uh, this picks up where the the Last of Us chat left off from earlier. Um, there's been a lot of controversy this week about violence in video games, um, PC or otherwise. Big fan, um, love that. A lot of different articles, uh, a lot of complaints about the Last of Us trailer, how graphic it was. Um. Yeah, weird stuff as well. Stuff that doesn't really make sense. Um, I'm try- trying to find this. Yeah, there was a quote that I was looking for. Uh, it was it was it was to do with kind of violence against women and children. Um, and there's been some real outcry this week, including a, a Polygon article, uh, which. The headline was literally "Stop using extreme violence to sell your game." Um, okay, caused uh, actual genuine need to defend themselves. Jim Ryan, who's uh, president of Sony Interactive Entertainment Europe and Global Sales and Marketing, uh, he was he was kind of hosting the showcase. And he he was asked all sorts of fucking questions afterwards about how, um, you know, this is not breeding inclusion and there's there's assault in the games and and all of these different questions. The the well, I'll, I'll let JJ talk us through it because he he arrives with a rant after the events. I've only covered a small portion here. This has blown up all week, uh, but JJ says this, and the title of his his email is just the word Christ. JJ says, <laughs> Jesus H fucking Christ, buddies. PC culture causes violence, not video games. I swear to God I'll build a dirty bomb out of my PS4 if Naughty Dog changes one fucking thing about The Last of Us 2. <laughs> Constructive criticism is one thing, but everyone has to tell artists how to make their vision. Cuphead is too hard. Fuck you, it's not for you. The hypocrisy of these cunts is incredible. You aren't including the artist in your games should be all inclusive rhetoric. On top of that, you exclude people who liked the original vision and version. I loved movies and TV shows until this shit could be found in every facet. Now video games. Guess I'll have to take up gardening. Fucking patio chat. Thanks for <laughs> the fucking patio chat. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Welcome to patio chat. With your favourite hosts, JFG Ash, JFG Alex, patio all the time. Thanks for the vent, JJ. So yeah. Um, so in a nutshell, what are we saying? Well, what, right what we're saying is there's a there's a danger that everything is being watered down, and that the 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 sort of 
certification system is being made a mockery of by the fact that suddenly shows are kind of in a in a way trying to appeal to everyone rather than specific audiences and that has a lot to do with the outcry of the few that has a lot to do with the sort of fucking cunt who sits in their house and and pens fucking letters to organizations <laughs> because the the tv show that they watched offended them i was oh, i was very me. offended by this dickhead <laughs> <laughs> so from this point on, buddies, uh, unfortunately my audio is going to be absolute shit house. This is because uh, my MacBook, in its wisdom, decided to stop recording um, with about 10, 15 minutes of the show left. Uh, but we thought it went rather well, and uh, we had bits from you guys in there as well, and we didn't want to re-record it because it just wouldn't be the same. It never is. So uh, sorry about the quality here. Ash is going to do his best because he's a fucking G. Um I'm the dickhead here, and uh, now I, I uh, think it's only going to sound terrible because we do such a good job with the edit anyway. Like if it was any other podcast, <laughs> it would probably be the same. Yeah, probably what you're used to from other <laughs> wankers. Yeah, nice spin, buddy. I like. Yeah, it. you well, see that? You know, that's what I'm going. Positivity, buddy. <laughs> Either way, uh, sorry, buddies, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy the rest of the show. Anyone who says they were very offended by something, <laughs> fuck off. As far as I'm concerned, <laughs> sorry, because Rob in the chat, everything is gay now. Everything is gay now. Uh, <laughs> Quite someone's literally, some someone's, someone's been watching Star Trek by the sound of things. Um, yeah, it's 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 all kind of amalgamating into this super fucking PC ness, mate. And t- t- I mean, my kids go to school. Thank fuck, they you know they got in. My daughter and son cannot have peanut butter sandwiches for lunch for fear of people with a peanut allergy there now. I mean, th- that's just annoying. Like, Health and safety gone mad, man. She loves peanut butter sandwiches. Who the fuck doesn't probably people with peanut allergies? But yeah, man. And also, you, you know, you're cleansing the gene pool if you get these well, fuckers exactly. who are allergic to peanut I mean, butter. fucking... What? Don't let them breed, buddy. But the Don't thing is, like... Ah, don't yeah. do that. Why be that guy, health and safety man? Well, this this is it's peanut butter. This this is the Last of Us. This is the Last of Us. It, I think one of the greatest games of all time. And this is people telling Naughty Dog how to write their next story, complaining, saying that they're offended. This game's got an eighteen certificate. This is Fuck for it. adults. Do what you want. Yeah. You no. Know? So anyway, I think I think Jim Ryan did pretty well here. He came out. Uh, with a a couple of different statements. Um, So I'll give you a little bit here. Um, Because this is the Telegraph asking the questions here. This has gone completely mainstream. Yeah. Uh, Jim Ryan said, "Uh, We showed a lovely range of games at the showcase last night. Uh, The Last of Us obviously is a game made by adults to be played by adults. I should never prejudge this, but it will probably be rated 18. I think it's fair to say. <laughs> and, and there's that market for those people who like that sort of game. Obviously. Adults who like that sort of game. And I think we cater for that. And at the other end of the spectrum, there was Concrete Genie, which my eight-year-old decided was the game she would like to play very much. That makes sense. I think a platform holder provides a platform, and the people who make games, whether they're our own studios or third-party publishers they bring the content to the platform we provide the platform exactly we have to ensure the right content is played by the right people of appropriate ages in particular i thought the last of us part two was a great way to end the show and i feel very good about it fucking good shit from yeah Jim man Ryan. that's straight up and also like sony have just introduced their like new and improved parental safety features yeah, and things like that so that up, exactly it? like i mean if you don't want your kids to play these games one don't fuck buy them for them and to set your parental controls it's your issue it's not the developer like you shouldn't castracize them is that a word who knows for ostracize fucking, close enough go. i was going for castrate and ostracize and, I, I, and you know castracize man you know oh, gosh <laughs> fucking 
Yeah, I'm all over um, this. I couldn't agree less with Polygon <laughs> with their stop using extreme violence to sell your game. It's not the extreme violence that, that makes me want to buy that game. It's the intensity of the story, the experiences, the idea that I'm going to be told something for adults, which is affecting to yeah. me. It's got nothing to do with anything else. Fuck off. If you don't want to play it, you don't have to play it. You don't exactly. have to buy it. It's not, I hate not gonna watching scary films. And make you Therefore, play the fucking games. I don't watch scary films. Exactly. Uh, it's simple. Gets a bit much. Clown shoes, my friend. Clown we'll move on, shoes. Because I'm getting heated like uh, I haven't don't. for about a hundred shows, buddy. So this we is, need to. Uh, this is debatable. Arm, arm it now. I mean, we're at two and a half hours nearly. <laughs> this can happen. Oh, Jesus Christ! And I haven't even written anything for the pod intro yet. <sighs> You'll get there, buddy. It's not uh, a problem. We'll make it up. Um, let's move on. We move on. Couple more little things. Um, Firstly, uh, last week, if you listened to whatever that was, uh, you'll remember me asking Mark and Dan uh, whether they were interested in COD World War II. Big COD fans, uh, specifically Black Ops, uh, loved Modern Warfare as well, the pair of them. Uh, And friend of the podcast, Mark, has replied this week, and he has replied with this. I'm not pumped about COD World War II. Probably of all the COD games, this is the one I've actually followed the least. I stopped watching COD YouTubers in the last 18 months or so, and have kind of resorted to getting all of my gaming news from your podcast. Yeah. Yes, buddy. They're the best. Uh, we, got, <laughs> we got Infinite Warfare with Modern Warfare Remastered, mm-hmm. but I've never actually installed it. Why? only played some online of the remaster. Mm-hmm. Whenever I go online, I tend to always play Black Ops 3 still. I should really give newer releases another go, but Black Ops has everything I want from an online shooter, and because we've got the season pass, there's enough maps and so on to stop it getting boring. Makes sense. Games I've actually been playing the most recently have been the F1 2017 demo, the original Project Cars, and finishing Wipeout's campaign mode. Oh, nice. Got Uncharted 3 and 4 to play through, but I find the climbing frustrating. And <laughs> although the story is good, I find there's so much good TV on lately, I'd rather watch a series than basically watch a slightly interactive CG movie <laughs> or stroke game on rails. I think you need some uh, kind of FMV. I think, I think yeah, you'd probably get down. on with yeah. Funk with yeah. that last uh, yeah, comment. True. Yeah, true. Yeah. Um, interesting. Uh, I, I said last week on the show um, that it felt like there wasn't as much hype for COD. Obviously, the beta did them no favours, uh, but and, and the the problems that they had with uh, glitches, bugs, and cheats in that. But it just doesn't feel to me like there's that much hype around it this time round. Um, and I thought there would be more because it's so different to Battlefront Two. You know, you, they're not competing with a conventional shooter. It's a Star Wars game. Um, so I was a bit surprised. But yeah, so there you go. They're they're big COD fans, and if, if they couldn't give a toss about it, then uh, I don't think that bodes well for the latest release, buddy. Gibbons, buddy. De- it, uh, fuck, fuck are you up for it at all? No, couldn't give a fuck. I've got my World War One shooter. I'm fine. If I want to play that, I can play that. Verdun. Verdun, that's the one. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, talking about like TV shows, JJ uh, is in the mixer chat. He's saying, uh, "Fuck the good place is Ace." We started watching it right when you all did, and uh, yeah, uh, I'm up. I'm all up to date on the good place now. Fucking what a twist! Oh, yeah, oh what a twist! Bad, you gotta love that oh, shit. Great, next great show. Next one's Friday, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Friday. Yeah, really fucking loving that show. Really, really yeah. good. Yeah. It's our favorite one at the moment. Mm, definitely, man. Definitely. Check that shit out, buddy. It's on Netflix, and it's cool. Gibbons. So let's round things off here, shall we, buddy? With uh, just just round things off with the art of Mel Gibson's soul. Oh, Towns. 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 Uh, Mel sent this through a couple of weeks ago, so apologies for the wait there, buddy. But what he sent through was a series of <laughs> incredible <laughs> pictures from. I, I don't know Rizmo. how he's done this. Neither I mean. do I. Um. I, I kind of got the thing upside down uh, on one of the challenges. I think it was on the like horse thief mile where you had to hit like 155 miles an hour. Okay, you come around this, come around this right hander, and there's a bit of a sort of fence at the side. I don't know if that's where he did it as well. But Mel's literally got this car. What looks from the pictures about 10, 15 feet up in the air. Um, 
it looks like the car cannon out of GTA 4, what he's managed to achieve here. And uh, fucking beautiful work, beautiful art. And uh, even even better by the fact that there's some dude behind the barrier in one of those shots just fucking standing there looking mental. Um, <laughs> man, <laughs> such impressive work. Uh, I've never seen its like. Beautiful life. artwork. For one <laughs> it's so another. tasty. Where, where can you find this artwork, buddy? Just to, oh, you can find it on the old PS4 community there, buddy, by nice. heading to uh, the communities on PS4 and searching for the JFG podcast. You can see all of Mel's art there. Get stuck in. Gibbons and some horses as well. Oh, oh! I saw yeah. lots of horses when I was in the countryside. Oh yeah, I've got Rapid I've got the missus doing the it now as well. So when when we were driving by, I'm like, oh, she's like, oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's, a, it's an addictive game yeah, if you can it call it a game. Well, it's a game. You see an horse, you say horse. It's the art. Yeah, that's <laughs> the, the, them as the rules, buddy. <laughs> They're the only rules. There's only one rule. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear fucking good shit oh, classic I like to well, think like you know the the American basketball game horse I reckon there's like a dumber version called horse yeah they, where they, they just miss out the H block. yeah they're in a rush yeah uh, we can't play horse guys it's horse 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 <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you so much to everyone. Who oh, has definitely. Thank you. Thank week. you very much from all and around, from wherever you sent your questions in. We are everywhere, as you know. Yeah. Thank mm. you so much. Uh, comfortably the best street beat I think we've ever had. So uh, thank you so much awesome. for that. So I think that'll about do us, buddy, for episode 135. And I've nearly lost my voice because <sighs> I've had to talk a lot this evening. Indeed, buddy. Um, you know. I've uh, I've said multiple words wrong. Uh, I've created a new word again. It's like your your weekly thing now to create a new word. Yeah, uh, I mean the the pressure of that is just incredible now. I just yeah. It's, it's luckily, tense. it comes naturally to me just to get <laughs> two words and mash them together. He knows in some stupid it. way. Fucking awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful thing. There you go. Oh man. Um, <laughs> what, what are we playing now? I I have no idea. Probably Pez. I reckon. I'm probably happy Pez. with that. I wonder if uh, wonder if our friendly neighbourhood funks about. I it. Pro- it'll probably be about. We'll send him a message. <clears> get him on <throat> on side, so to speak. I like indeed, it. Good indeed. Stuff. Yeah. Sweet. Well, thank you so much for listening, everybody, and, and joining uh, in on the chat as well. And joining in on the chat, yeah. catching up on the old uh, the old choo tubes and the twitches and so on. Um, <sighs> JJ says Destiny Two. We should play. I don't think so. I mean, I I would. I'm sure you would. Ah, fuck it. He tweeted uh, a picture of uh, him doing the fucking what was it, the ramen emote, and then he was like, "Yeah, 75 frames per second. I'm like, I bet that's at 2k as well. (sighs) Yeah, I saw that. (laughs) That looked tasty. You fucker, bastard. Yep. (laughs) Man. Well. Oh well. There we go. Yep. (sighs) Right. Let me get this intro out. Let's do it. Go. <clears throat> Let's sign off. Intro? <laughs> Outro. <laughs> Outro. Then well, would let, intro. Let's start again. I feel yep. we could do better. Yeah. <laughs> always. <laughs> I always feel that. I always I feel, feel that since the day we started, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Thank you so much for listening, buddies. Uh, you can find us at www.thejfgpodcast.co.uk uh, on Facebook forward slash the JFG podcast. Our Twitter handle is at the JFG podcast. Uh, we're on all these streaming sites. We stream to three separate streaming sites on a Wednesday night when we record this. Uh, they are the old YouTube there. You can find us, the JFG podcast, twitch.tv forward slash the JFG podcast, and mixer.com forward slash the JFG podcast, aka beam.fuckingpro as it was known beautifully beautifully so um we're on soundcloud as well you can find us on there if you want to listen to an episode from 50 to 100 weeks ago uh soundcloud.com forward slash just for gamers um ps4 community come and join our ps4 community buddies uh we'd love to have you uh, there's plenty of room on the boards and you can look at the art and you can enjoy oh, the things towns. and perhaps come play with us that'd be nice as well come um, play with me Come and play. <laughs> said in a terrifying fashion from from Ash there. So there you are. Um, yeah, we're all over the spot. I can't think of anything else right now. So uh, oh, we are actually also on Google Plus. Ah, if, that's where we are. 
if yeah. that's how you choose to live your life thanks so much buddies thanks so much for listening Gibbons. we will catch you next time of course because we are a weekly podcast that puts out every fucking week until then I'd love to put out every week <laughs> put out <laughs> every week until then mandatory I been Alex <laughs> he has been Ash oh goodbye goodbye buddies You've been listening to the JFG Podcast with Ash and me, Alex. To find out more, head to www.justforgamers.co.uk, Facebook forward slash the JFG Podcast, or Twitter where we are at the JFG Podcast. Episodes go live every Sunday, and if you could pop onto iTunes and write us a quick review, we would love every inch of you, even if you got old and fat. Thanks so much for listening, and we will catch you next time. 